Hello, 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 everyone! <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's time for our very last stream of 2023, and it's gonna be a good one, y'all. We're we're gonna we're gonna finish up the main story for the rabbits. It's gonna be good. <laughs> oh my god. Woo! Um, thank you all for your patience uh, with this being pushed back a week. Uh, everything kind of happened right as the holidays were happening, so... <laughs> they kind of pushed everything back a week. Like, they released this the week of Christmas, and I, I already was, like, gonna be taking some time off then, so... And, um, yeah, so just to be safe, I played through the battles ahead of time. We are not going to skip a couple of them. I believe in Emuchan. I believe Emuchan can do it. There's a couple of battles that are extremely good. Um, so yeah, no, we're we're gonna skip through, I think like two or three of them. Um, just the ones where we're fighting robots, but there's a couple others where uh, they're very good. <laughs> I'm very excited to see the story surrounding them because wow, woo, the fights were great. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. But yeah, I believe in Emu-chan. Um, very sweet Emu-chan has been doing her best. This new patch is uh, got some weird stability issues with the emulator I've been using. I actually upgraded the emulator to Moo Moo Player 12. <laughs> and it's been running much better now. But if we have any crashes, we're just gonna deal with it. And I'll just pull it back up again. I'm sure it'll be fine. It'll be all right. <laughs> Oh God, but yeah, um, I believe in Emuchan. I think it's gonna be all right. We'll we'll roll with it. So um, yeah, anyway, it's 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 good. I hope y'all are doing very well and y'all are very excited because I'm very excited. Um, I, I've been dying to play this with you all, uh, especially like over Christmas, seeing the patch go live and be like, I, I wanna I wanna play it. <laughs> I wanna know what happens next. So yeah. It's gonna be good. Very, very good. Oh, yeah, I don't know if, if Nexon will ever make a dedicated PC port. I think that would be, that would probably be good. <laughs> but in the interim, we've got this emulator to help us. Yes, yeah, so um, I'll talk about this more at the end of the stream, but because everything got pushed back a week, you can kind of think of it as um, everything is just a week out. So um, we're going to play the SRT summer event next week. So that'll be our first week of the new year um, because the patch will still be going. So yeah, we'll still get to play the event. Um, it would just be kind of a lot to do the main story and the event in one stream. Um, I, I, I need to, you know, not completely wreck my voice. So <laughs> that would be like a seven hour stream and that would be pretty crazy. So anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna do that in a separate stream next week. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be good. Ah, it's gonna be very good. Let's do it, y'all. Let's hop into it. When we last left off, things were starting to get mm, a little complicated for Kaya. Kaya was uh, starting to wonder if this whole being in charge of Kivotos thing was actually going to be easy, and then it, it wasn't. <laughs> she was having a hard time. There were some protests that were happening outside. So anyway, let's let's hop into this. Our, our first chapter of today is black coffee. Let's hop into it, y'all. Let's go. <laughs> black coffee. The next day, while making my way through the city to meet with the rabbit squad. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Kaiser again. I said no. Shouldn't a Valkyrie student know the rules? Uh, this individual isn't suspicious. They live in the neighborhood. <laughs> oh, cutie, no. Oh, I'm so sorry, my, my very sweet, very clumsy girl. <laughs> Just yesterday, I talked to them about egg prices in front of the station, as I often do. I'll take full responsibility if anything happens. Can't you just let them through? We can't subvert the law just because a kid says a suspicious individual is okay. If you disagree with the protocol, take it up with the right department. If Valkyrie students aren't able to protect and ensure the safety of the citizens, then who is? Interesting point, interesting point, Kirino. Oh, oh. 
Um, can someone mind explaining the situation here? Why are you trying to arrest one of the Kivotos citizens? Oh, thank goodness! Sensei! <sighs> Shali's Sensei. This citizen is from the neighborhood. They needed to use the subway to get to their doctor's appointment. But then this Kaiser security guard blocked our way, saying that regulations had changed and started doing this inspection. We're just following protocol. Regulations allow us unilateral authority to perform routine inspections at any time. With the recent changes in the student council, there have been a rise in a number of terror threats. In accordance with the new administrative order for the DU Public Transportation Safety, citizens entering the subway need a round-trip ticket, ticket receipt, government transit permit, a subway map, and a copy of their DU City Library record. Jesus, <laughs> that's a lot of things! A little excessive, don't you think, Kaya? A little excessive. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. It's going to prevent anyone from traveling. Good God. Um, I didn't realize it took so much paperwork to access public transportation. I fail to see how borrowing records uh, impacts their ability to sit on a train. If a book isn't returned because someone's in another district for too long, it'd be quite the hassle for our librarians. It's a new measure enacted by the Interim General Student Council for a safer Kivotos. We thank you for your continued cooperation. But I, I only have my ticket. Uh, I had no idea I'd need so many documents for the subway. Borrowing records? Why, I haven't borrowed from the city library in... Well, I, I can't even remember how long. No documents, no entry. If you can't provide the required documents, find another way to your appointment. But there aren't any buses. Sh should I walk? It's about an hour walk to the hospital. Oh, uh, I don't know if my stomach can take that. This is clearly a medical emergency. Getting him to the hospital should be our top priority right now. An individual's personal circumstances are not an excuse for non-compliance. We provided citizens ample notice about the new policies before they were enacted. Yeah, it was all confusingly laid out on your website. <laughs> no one could understand what was happening. It is the citizen's responsibility to obey the law, regardless of the inconveniences to themselves. Did I hear you correctly just now? Do you have an issue with what I said? Are you? A Valkyrie police school student attempting to undermine the authority of Kaiser security, granted by none other than acting president Kaya. <sighs> I can already see the headlines. A Valkyrie student goes on a rampage downtown. Can the police school still be trusted? I never wanted a fight, but if this is how you choose to conduct yourself, Kirino, um, stop. G come over here, we can settle this. We all fancy a ride on the subway tonight. Oh. <gasps> Kana! <laughs> Kana! Let's go! Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go! If the issue is paperwork, I might be able to assist. <laughs> D Director Kana! Do you intend to escort the civilian to the city office to retrieve the mandated paperwork? <sighs> Do I look like a tour guide to you? <laughs> we can sort everything out here. Ticket receipts are electronic and sent automatically. Just check your email. Oh, it it's right here in my spam folder. A receipt 
from the transportation department. Uh, what's next? The transit permit? We've recently added a clause to include a grace period after these new policies were enacted. Valkyrie students have authority to give out interim permits while the grace period is active. The permit form, Kirino, sign the bottom. Y yes ma'am! Let's see. You can get a subway map for free from the station. That just leaves the library record. And the DU City Library automatically gets rid of any borrowing records that haven't shown activity for two or more years. This citizen fits that category, which exempts him from that requirement. Are we good, then? It appears so. Proceed. Thank you so much! I'll never forget this! God, Kana! Incredible! Dealing with bureaucracy like a pro! Ugh. Back for one day and already up to my neck in work. That was amazing, Director Kana! Thank you so much! If it weren't for you, that citizen! Nakatsukasa Kirino. Huh? Ma'am? What were you thinking? Putting your hand on your weapon. You ran into some Kaiser security guards who wouldn't listen to you. So your first instinct was to open fire in the middle of the city? N no, ma'am. <laughs> Not at all. I, um... I was- I wasn't going to shoot! Uh, the guard refused to listen to reason, so my plan was to deploy a smoke grenade and help the civilian escape. One smoke grenade against Kaiser security guards armed with the best technology known to Kivotos? I- I- I see your point. You need to learn to think. Bureaucracy should always be your first- what was all that commotion? I heard a Valkyrie student picked a fight with a Kaiser guard, and they really got into it. It must have been one of the new regulations. I don't blame her, honestly. Uh, let's relocate somewhere more private. You owe me a cup of coffee for bailing you out there. Uh, yes, ma'am! I'll get you ten cups if you like. There's a place nearby that has the fluffiest donuts, too. Uh, I don't like donuts, but I'll take the coffee. <gasps> it's nice to see Kana and Kirino together. <laughs> uh. Three coffees, please, and the chocolate donut set. A coffee for me and whatever they want. What what's the occasion, Sensei? I, I, I was supposed to pay for it. <laughs> Listen, a token of gratitude for our hardworking Valkyrie officers. As your teacher, it's the least that I can do. Ugh, the world must be flipped on its axis right now, but somehow you always manage to stay. Exactly the same, Sensei. Here you go. Three coffees and a chocolate donut set. It looks delicious! The specialty donuts here are my favorite. Fubuki's the one who showed me this cafe. I love how well the donuts and coffee pair together. You know, actually, I was going to say, I'm, I'm guessing that Fubuki is a little jealous right now, but apparently she's the one who introduced Kirino to this place. <laughs> Since they use a bittersweet dark chocolate, when you have it at the same time as the coffee... Hold on one sec. Megaphone time. 
Up until now, Kivotos has been protected by novices. The Valkyrie Police School officers are, at the end of the day, students who care more about finding the next best donut shop than public safety. <laughs> oh my god! Kaiser Security, on the other hand, has a team of seasoned former PMC units to call at all times. We are prepared and capable of providing the best security technology that can be offered under any circumstances. In the DU alone, under the guidance of the Acting Student Council President, Kaya, we have tightened security, established rigorous inspection points, and managed to cut down crime rates by a solid 50%. At Kaiser Security, our commitment is to restore peace and order in the DU. Good God. What is this propaganda? <laughs> what is this bullshit? Peace, huh? <laughs> Sounds nice. Y yes, it does. Sensei, I heard you turned down Kaya's reform proposal. I didn't have the time to look at it too closely, but you didn't have much to lose from it, from what I could tell. Which leads me to believe the refusal is more principle-driven. You've summed it up well. <laughs> I didn't trust that agreement for a second, and I didn't want to compromise myself in any capacity by working with Kaya. If it was just a simple pacifying gesture, then sure, go crazy with your principles or whatnot. But I don't think I need to remind you that saying no to Kaya is never simple. She's hardly one to ever let sleeping dogs lie. Kana, you acted on your principles when you helped me, didn't you? Well... Oh. We all have to stick to our guns every once in a while, don't we? Speaking of, I'm so glad to see you up and about again. Oh my gosh, that was terrifying when you came to rescue me before. I'm so glad that you look okay now. How are you doing? Are you cleared for the field again? More or less, but... I've resigned my position as the Public Peace Bureau Director. Oh... Yeah... 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 Despite everything that she did that does track, she did still uh, collude with Kaiser. That wasn't great. To be more exact, I've been temporarily relieved of my position. If it was retaliation for helping me, but I suspect it wasn't. <laughs> I suspect it was because of what you did earlier. I can't have you taking responsibility for my decisions, Sensei. Regardless of the situation at the time, the department's director can't and shouldn't break product protocol, ever. Instead, I defied direct orders from my superiors and fought allies with hostile intent. Wait! Oh, snap! Oh, because... Oh, because Kaya's in charge. I'm curious what would have been her fate if it wasn't Kaya. I guess we're gonna have to see. Because she did uh, collude with Kaiser, like that was still an ongoing thing. But no, Kaya... <laughs> Despite everything that happened in Volume F, she still, oh my god, because she defied direct orders um, when there was martial law, and then she went and fought Kaiser in order to save us. Holy cow. Even if I made the right call in the end, I still have to hold myself accountable. The more we bend the rules, make exceptions, the easier it becomes for bad characters to manipulate them. I went into this knowing I'd have to pay the price, and I'm at peace with it. 
Honestly, I'm glad it wasn't worse. But there were things I didn't plan for. A lot of Public Peace Bureau students followed and supported my insubordination. They met the same fate that I did. And now we have no bureau providing security for the citizens. Oh, geez. Yeah, that's not great. I guess that's it's part of the plan, though. You have Kaiser swoop in and they're the ones actually in charge. Which is also how Kaya was able to pivot DU's security to Kaiser's control so smoothly. Kaiser is the largest and most successful corporation in Kivotos. They have means and experience well outside of what the Public Peace Bureau was able to provide. I trust they can maintain Kivotos's and police laws and regulations. But... Oh, Kana! What does bother me is how tight these regulations have gotten and the massive increase in guards. Other companies besides Kaiser Corporation are pretty much sidelined. Citizens are staying indoors, afraid of the paramilitary level forces that are marching through their neighborhoods. Sure, crime rates have gone down, but do the ends justify the means here? Kana! Kana, my girl, you've come so far! I, the ends do not justify the means. Oh. Kana, I'm so sorry. Ugh. I have to admit, I haven't been sure of much these days. The only thing I can do is hope my decision wasn't the wrong one. You made the call that you thought was right. That's all that matters. <laughs> you don't need to defend me. Everything the villain does in the story has to catch up to her eventually, right? Honestly, I should have stepped down a long time ago. Now I'm not sure if I've lost my opportunity. You, you're not some third-rate villain, Director Kana! Kirino? You have exceptional aim, your admin work is impeccable, and despite all your experience, you still genuinely care. I can't just sit around and listen to you talk down about yourself anymore. Not when so many of us at Valkyrie look up to you. I train every day, hoping to be half as good as you one day, Director Kana. Oh! Kitty, no! Oh my word! <laughs> Sadly, Kitty, no. You could train twice a day, every day, and you still wouldn't be a quarter as good as me. Oh god, Kana! You don't have to be real like that! <laughs> you don't, you know, I guess being honest with her is fine, but... <laughs> Dear god! The, the blunt, harsh truth! Oh god! <laughs> Director! My heart! <laughs> but I could say the same for myself. I could never become a member of the Public Safety Bureau and gain the faith and trust of the citizens like you have. You might be a lousy shot, but you've really proven yourself. D Director Kana! Oh, there we go. Giving her some praise. <gasps> oh, oh, snap. Down with acting general student council president, Kaya. We deserve a two day work week. Cede to our demands or I'll eat all your pudding. Where did these guys come from? <laughs> the labor party, let's go. No matter what we do, they just keep cropping up like flies. We can't do our jobs with them always in the way. 
We need backup. Backup. Time for work, Kitty. No. Let's go. It doesn't matter who's in charge of security. We still have our duty as Valkyrie students. We'll provide backup. Yes, ma'am. See you around, Sensei. Thank you for the donuts, Yumi Sensei. Oh, you're very welcome, Kirino. <laughs> Please don't accidentally shoot any um, innocent bystanders, okay? Please promise me, Kirino. Hopefully she doesn't. <laughs> good God, though. The situation is not looking good. I finished my coffee and headed out to Koasagi Park to see the Rabbit Squad members. Yeah, I'm gonna need to catch the Rabbit Squad up to speed with what all is happening. They kind of understand, but like, ugh. Okay, okay. Well, let's, let's go see how they're doing, y'all. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, volume 8, the Labor Party will be asking for everything free in 365 days of paid leave. Somewhat based. <laughs> Two or three day work weeks? I I'm on board with this. <laughs> I'm on board with this. Very, very good. <sighs> oh! The Rabbit Squad Camp. Hey, y'all. I'm back. Uh, where did everyone go? <laughs> I I even brought some high quality beef lunch bentos. Are are you here? I don't think they're here. Um, that's not good. I searched all throughout their encampment, but it was a ghost town. Uh, this isn't good. Finally, I found their old sleeping tent empty with only a letter left inside. Um, that's not good. <laughs> uh, uh, read the letter on the desk. I'm sure this won't be bad. Miyako. Dear Yumi Sensei. Hello, this is Miyako. I'm sorry that I'm delivering this news in a letter. Starting today, we are officially ending our Kosagi Park occupation and protest to rejoin our senior classmates. Oh, no! When we talked, I truly did believe in what you told me and the things we discussed. But with acting president Kaya supporting the revival of the SRT Academy, our protest no longer had a cause. I couldn't justify asking my squad members to continue living under these conditions when there was no fight to rally behind. Oh God, Miyako. Living in the park has been hard. Scrounging for expired bentos and spiel and excuse me, stealing barrels just to have somewhere to bathe. <laughs> I can't forget how difficult it was for my squad members when we first moved here. But despite all that, your support was invaluable. I don't want you to think that it wasn't. Any one of those struggles I mentioned would have brought us to our knees had you not been there to pick us back up every single time. It's thanks to you that we can now look forward and accept support from others too. All their needs will be met. We can't follow Saki's regimented daily routine, or we can follow Saki's regimented daily routine, and Moe will have enough firepower to blow up Kivotos. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just kidding. I hope. <laughs> Even Miyu will finally get to have that comfy bed that she's always wanted. It wasn't an easy decision. It required sacrificing 
my principles. Oh, Miyako. But maybe my principles were wrong. At the end of the day, a weapon that can't serve its purpose is useless. Right? No, that's not right, Miyako! Don't listen to that! That's incorrect! No, my sweet girl! She just wants to look out for her squad and make sure that they're okay, but she's... No! I do hope this decision was best for everyone. I'm sorry. I didn't discuss it with you first. I wanted to ask you for advice in person at first. I wanted to know what you thought of my choice. But I felt that hearing your voice would have made me second guess myself. So I hope you understand why this letter is the only thing we left you as a goodbye. We put you through a lot, didn't we? Thank you, Sensei. No, oh, I'm tearing up! No, 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 no! Miyako, no! My sweet girl, you've tried so hard and gone through so much, it doesn't have to be like this. Why, why, she, her instincts were screaming at her just to talk with me. I wish that she had just talked with me. We'll come back to clean up the park and gather our supplies after completing our operation. I hope our paths cross again one day, maybe in a different place, in a different world. Sincerely. Ugh. Oh. Clean up what was left behind. Oh god. My heart. Miyako, no. Oh. God. Oh. Taki. <laughs> no. Oh, give me a second. Let me wipe my face. That's so sad. She, they try so hard. They've they've been through so much together and have proven how hard they're willing to work to keep Kivoto safe but at the end of the day Miyako is too concerned about the safety and the happiness of her squad and she's like well even though this doesn't seem right I, I want them to be happy but no Miyako you should have talked with me first <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna save these girls I'm gonna help them I'm gonna help them <sighs> okay, okay, all right. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, okay. Whew, Saki. Saki, my girl, how are you doing? Based off of the coordinates, this is where they said to meet them. Uh, this is the biggest training facility I've ever seen, if that's even what this is. We're so far out. Who who knew there was a whole facility all the way out here? W weird. It doesn't show up on satellite images. Wait, what? That's concerning. <laughs> it doesn't... The training camp you're at doesn't show up on satellite? Um... That's not good. ACM devices blocking cameras, maybe? Uh... I don't... I don't like this. Um, Miyako, you need to get them out of there. This was an SRT Academy training facility before the council president disappeared. It was meant to serve as a base of operations in the event of an emergency, so its very existence was highly confidential this is my first time here as well. You've made your choice. <sighs> Yukino. Yukino! God damn it, Yukino. Making Miyako feel like she's just a weapon! Y Yukino. Yukino. 
reporting. <laughs> Miyako, no! No, 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 no! Don't just fold into her squad! Ah! I have received orders that Tsukiyuki, Miyako, and the other three members of the rabbit squad are to join the fox squad. As squad leader, I hereby disband the rabbit squad and transfer authority of its members to fox squad leader, Chichido Yukino. Confirmed. As of now, Tsukiyuki Miyako and the three members of her squad will serve as an active unit under Fox Squad. <laughs> no! Welcome to the Fox Squad, squad leader Tsukiyuki. Thank you. Mm, no! No, no, no! There they are! I found the rabbits! You took your sweet time. We've been waiting. Otogi and Kurumi! Thank you for coming all the way here. <laughs> Nico! Nico! Uh, this is so sad, I can't! <laughs> I can't with this! Are you hungry, or would you like to shower first? Oh, sh shower? We, we get to shower in a room? Absolutely, cleanliness is vital for combat readiness. No matter how dire the situation, you can't train efficiently if you're not. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> I, uh, I forgot. Not at all. We were the ones who chose to live in a park. Well, I'm happy to say we're equipped with showers and individual beds for each of you. Please make yourself at home. Th thank you. I'm exhausted. I just want a good shower and a soft bed. That does sound nice, but... Before that, oh. We're starting all your special training routines. Up and at them, bun buns. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> uh, spe specialized training R right now? Based on our recent observations, your combat skills need sharpening a lot. Consider it a uh, bonding activity. We'll get to evaluate your strengths and weaknesses. Rabbit Squad, gear up and meet up at the training area. At the training area. Uh, just when I thought I could finally experience luxury and comfort in my poor hard knock life. <laughs> We're going to get special training directly from our seniors. <laughs> Of course, Saki is excited. No dilly dallying. Unpack and gear up now. You're probably the only one in SRT history to be excited about surprise training. At least there are showers. We don't have to worry about being sticky if we sweat. Since our adorable underclassmen are here, I'll have to put in some extra effort in today's dinner menu. Miyako? Everything okay? Uh, oh, um, everything's great. Yeah, everything's great. Ugh. <laughs> no! <sighs> yeah, no, it's not great. Everything is not great. <laughs> Everything is not actually great, though! Uh, oh, great. The next chapter is called Shock and Fear. <laughs> That's, that can't be good. Uh, I don't, I don't like this at all. I guess they're going to learn some stuff from the Fox Squad. That's not terrible, I guess. They'll learn some things, sharpen their skills. Maybe we can still turn this around. I have one condition. More of a request, if you will. 
for the Red Winter Office to take responsibility for and disband the protesters from your school. Can we shake on that, President Cherino? Oh, snap! Excuse me? You summoned the head of Red Winter here to make her stop the protests? <laughs> I don't... I don't think you understand how Red Winter works. <laughs> Cherino has the ability to do that? <laughs> it seems you are confused, acting General Student Council President. You see, I am not simply a president. I am the Student Council President of Red Winter Academy, Head of Beautification, Secretary General, Head of Physical Education, and the Catering Department and this month's top pudding taster, Cherry No. I refuse to respond to such a paltry title as president. Yes, a Red Winter Academy student council president and head of the various departments, Cherry No. And um, back to the matter at hand. Head of various departments? You trivialize my position. I'll have you purged. Why is this little child in front of me so attached to these fake positions no one cares about? Uh, please, excuse me, great leader Cherino. <laughs> uh, but the protesters hindering the General Student Council's ability to carry out its responsibilities is a pressing concern. They are causing civil unrest all over DU. An external security review confirmed that most of these troublemakers are students from Red Winter Academy. As DU's Chief of Defense and the Acting General Student Council President, I am firmly demanding the Red Winter Office take accountability. Now that you mention it, the Labor Party has been unusually quiet. <laughs> so that's their game. What's their grievance that they're protesting this time? That's a good question, Great Leader Cherry No. These students are demanding not just free pudding rations and an unrealistic two day work week, but they're also initiating a coup. <laughs> Is that so? And? Does that giant hat block your hearing? A coup! A rebellion! They're trying to topple the General Student Council itself. As the acting General Student Council President responsible for Kivotos' security, this is a matter that can't. I get it. Coups can be quite bothersome. I've weathered a few myself. One thing I've learned, Chief Kaya, is that trying to crush a coup directly only fuels its flames. And isn't it natural for students to rebel if they're unhappy with the Council's actions? What do you mean by that? There will always be short-sighted students who can't see the visions of distinguished leaders like us. While it's nothing like Red Winter, I imagine being the General Student Council President of DU must be challenging. The public will never understand you. This is exactly why I'm trying to request the Red Winter Office take responsibility. Now then, I don't normally involve myself in matters outside my academy, but when I see hard work, it must be rewarded. Therefore, the Red Winter Office will send you a box of Cherenka. <laughs> Will send me a... what now? <gasps> you... you have never tried a Cherenka? Chief of Defense? Ch Cherenka is Red Winter Academy's signature milk chocolate. Its richness is unparalleled. If it's to your liking, perhaps the General Student Council could receive regular shipments? What I'm asking for now is manpower, not... Oh no! How could this have happened? I was 
enjoying chatting with a like-minded leader so much I almost missed my scheduled nap time. We'll continue this later, Acting General Student Council President Ka... whatever your name was. Mmm, <laughs> Kaya, mmm. Mmm, the, the, the dictator of, of Red Winter thinks that the two of you are like-minded. Although Cherry now is quite used to coos. <laughs> Insolent brat! How does Red Winter Academy not have one single serious student? <laughs> Nap time is great though, to be fair. <laughs> wait, wait I, I, I'm not from Red Winter Academy. <laughs> I know, I wasn't talking to you. Are you sure that brat is Red Winter Academy's student council president and representative, chief of staff? Indeed, Renkawa Cherino currently holds the position of student council president at Red Winter Federal Academy. Currently? Last week, I believe it was chairwoman Ikikura Marina. <laughs> Kind of, kind of changes a lot in Red Winter, huh? <laughs> if I am understanding this correctly, we have to solve this security threat by negotiating with an academy that changes a leadership on a weekly basis. Yet the forming acting president Rin seemed quite competent at it. With the right incentives, this should be a cakewalk compared to dealing with Trinity and Gehenna. I guess someone with a background in defense might only know how to use sticks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love you! <laughs> um, Ch Chief Kaya? Acting General Student Council President. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, Acting General Student Council President. Um, regarding the regular Defense Office reports, numerous civilians have made grievances about the new policy mandating them to show 10 forms of ID when making a cash withdrawal. And um, there have been a number of incidents across DU where frustrated civilians have brandished weapons instead of IDs, coercing bank staff to make the withdrawal. That's... Uh, that's blatant armed robbery! This is happening all over, and our Valkyrie officers and Kaiser guards just twiddling their thumbs. Um... As mentioned before, both the Security Bureau and Kaiser Security are stretched thin due to the sheer number of daily inspections. If they lack the personnel, then hire private security firms to maintain security. I won't tolerate even a single criminal act while I'm in charge of Kivotos. Ugh. <laughs> Kaya... I think I think you need to to start smaller. <laughs> don't don't have a coup first, <laughs> and then maybe um maybe don't like enforce crazy policies on the citizens to like prevent crime in such a crazy way. There's there's things that you can do. I I just. <sighs> She says that, but things have been way more chaotic since she took over. A protest delayed me for 30 minutes this morning when I was trying to get to the Sanctum Tower. While minor crimes have decreased, major offenses have escalated. Because all of our resources have been directed towards regulating the citizens, criminals have suddenly found themselves with more room to play. And with the Director of Human Resources out of commission, Chief Kaya has less supporters than ever. Maybe she can't keep up with the pressures of her office. Chief Officer Rin is looking more and more competent every day. <laughs> Enough! Meeting adjourned! LOL, Kaya. Well, well, well.
Things aren't working out how you expected! You kept me waiting. There you are, acting general student council president. I'm here in person because there seems to be a delay in payments to Kaiser Security. Oh. Oh no, both Yukino and uh, the general of Kaiser's PMC are both here to air grievances with Kaya. Oh boy. Considering the manpower and equipment required, the previous payment doesn't even come close to covering. Why am I still being bothered with petty problems? With the amount of money we've paid you, how is it that you are incapable of handling even a single student protest before it reaches my desk? Why? Because you haven't paid the proper price, of course. You say what you have paid me is how much the General Student Council has approved in its budget. But if your problem won't go away, then maybe the budget isn't sufficient. You're in no position to be asking for more, Kaiser. Have you forgotten that I kept Kaiser Corporation from diving nose first into bankruptcy? Where would you be if I hadn't covered up your crimes in the incident? <laughs> of course not. Trust is the backbone of any business arrangement. However, I also don't believe in conducting business arrangements on emotional whims. You may have saved us from bankruptcy, but that doesn't mean I'll burn through our revenue for you. But you asked where I would be. I would have recovered quite easily. I can just throw away the Kaiser brand and start a new company should things go wrong. What about you? You stake your name and credibility with so little thought. If it all comes apart, where will Shiranui Kaya be? I've helped you. I've kept your secrets. The public would be interested to know about the silo you built under Kousagi Station, I should think. That was a different issue. We were the ones who took a hit when that rebate was discovered. Under your protection, the town's redevelopment went up in smoke because of it. I've told you already, once everything's squared away, I'll pay you back. Put it on my tab. I'll even add interest. If that's what you choose. Your tab is adding up to be quite a hefty fee. From what I've gathered, you have yet to gain the treasury's trust. You don't have much sway in directing the budget, do you? Backing a leader who can't inspire her team's confidence does seem rather unwise. Uh, keys to power are falling apart all around you, huh, Kaya? I would like to know more about this silo that's underneath Koisagi. Um, is this is this what the Fox Squad helped to uncover before? Because that's kind of concerning. That was a really large, like, um, not like a nuke, but it was a gigantic weapon that Kaiser had been building. That was two years ago. I'm kind of concerned that that's what it is. <laughs> Why is this happening? Why doesn't anyone trust me? If only they'd just listen. Instead, it's suspicion and insubordination at every corner. And somehow, the General Student Council President, that woman, all of Kivotos followed and trusted her. Why her? What can she do that I can't? Why can't I become a superhuman too? <sighs> Kaya, I don't know much about the general council president. We've only been told small things about her, but there are some things that are very different between the two of you. You don't instill trust in people. You actively... Uh, try to use force to get what you want. You don't listen to people's opinions and just proceed forward. Also, it sounds like the last student council president was very charismatic. 
<sighs> That's a good way of putting it. The president wasn't actually superhuman. She just seemed like it. What's different from then and now? From her Kivotos and mine? Oh, I get it. This Kivotos lacks fear. If they fear me, then they'll fall into line. Um, Kaya? Yukino, where's the thermobaric warhead from Project Antioch stored now? The one you confiscated from Kaiser. Kaya? What? Why do you want that? What? No, 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 no. Let's not, let's not instill terror in the citizenry. Um, let's, you're already doing that though. The warhead has been deactivated and is being stored in a military facility in the outskirts of DU. But due to its explosive power, it was impossible to completely disarm it. This is a direct order, Yukino. Transport the warhead to the silo under Kozagi Station and detonate it. What? What? Kaya? Can I ask the reason? It's not like you to question my orders. So I'll indulge you this once. Like you said, the Antioch Warhead's power is intense, making it hard to fully neutralize. And most of Koisagi Town have relocated because of the redevelopment anyway, so casualties would be minimal. Most of Koisagi Town means there are still residents there. Detonating the warhead in a confined space like a subway station will Yes, I'm aware how it works. Koisagi Station and the nearby stations will sustain damage. That's the point. I need a show of force, bigger than their wildest imaginations. Otherwise, it won't be enough to cow them into submission. Oh my god, Kaya. You have completely lost your mind. They need to know we can erase a small city in seconds. Then they'd think twice before crossing us. If the accident occurs in the subway, we can pin it on the transit staff's negligence. Oh my god, Kaya! You, you really gonna do Momoka dirty like that? Really now? Really now? Also, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Oh my god. Woman. <laughs> this is really bad. What? What? Everything will be tied up in a neat little bow for us. <laughs> Outstanding. I knew you were a little crazy, but you've truly exceeded my expectations this time. Our Kaiser president really does seem to have an uncanny eye for talent. <laughs> Thank you for the praise. I don't think that you should be accepting that praise, Kaya. I don't think this is praiseworthy at all. Y'all can... Oh, oh, oh. One objection, however, the silo under the subway station is Kaiser property. I'm not necessarily keen on you blowing up my things. Yeah, you have a point. We'll be using your property, so to compensate, would the control of DU's subway system suffice? Once I've gotten rid of the current transportation officers, We'll need another body to oversee the subway system. If Kaiser Corporation is up for it, it'd be a win-win. 
this is bullshit. Kaya! Ah! You're gonna try and get rid of Momoka and then replace her with Kaiser and you're gonna blow up a- You're gonna blow up a neighborhood in the DU? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Sounds promising. We've been eyeing transportation ever since the St. Nephitus rail takeover fell through. I would like to know more about that, Kaiser. It sounds like that project helped with the desertification of Abydos. Tell me more, please. You were trying to take over the rail station in Abydos. Is that what I'm understanding from this? That is your fault? Control over the primary transport linking districts would be a source of steady revenue. I'm not one to miss a lasting opportunity because I'm blinded by the short term. Very well. And we'll make the preparations to receive the warhead in the silo. We'll need to coordinate with your foxes. Good God. Yukino! Yukino, say something! I know that you've compromised your goddamn morals a whole bunch here, but come on, Yukino! That's finally settled. Now, back to my order. Squad leader Yukino... Your answer? Yukino, no. Fox one. Understood. Yukino! You can't do this! Yukino, you can't do this! You can't do this! Yukino! Yukino! Come on now! You can't just fall into line. This is unacceptable. This is unacceptable! Yukino, no! <laughs> no! Yuki, no! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Yuki, no! <sighs> this is ridiculous. This is completely ridiculous! Oh my god! Good god! Yuki, no! You, you, were, you were complicit already in attacking the General Student Council. That was terrible. That was terrible. But then now you're going to be complicit in blowing up a town? God, I also hope Rinny is okay. I hope Rinny is doing okay. <sighs> now back to poor Sensei. Now we don't know any of this yet. Oh, this is great. By the time I left Kozagi Park and returned to Shale, it was already late in the evening. This isn't great. This isn't good. I approached the counter to pick up a bento, but... Huh? There... There's no bentos left. Oh, Sora, hi! I'm sorry, Sensei. We ran out today. I just needed something to eat. It's okay. Is there anything else? Maybe some expired ones? N no, sorry. We ran out of every single bento in stock. For some reason, only this Angel 24, located in Chalet, didn't get any of the bentos since yesterday. I tried to find out why, but was told it's due to a new order and that even the scheduled bentos were cancelled. All we have left for sale <laughs> is water. Uh, someone is doing this intentionally. Um, it's okay, Sora. I'll have to look into this. Is there no bread or any other kind of drinks? Yeah, um, basically anything to eat or drink. Uh, I know I'm still here, but we've pretty much just been closed today. Uh, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. It's okay, it's not your fault, Sora. This is a much pettier method of revenge than I expected. Good god. Um, uh, Sensei! Do, do you know anything about what's been going on in the DU? After the coup and stuff, <laughs> it's been completely dead here. I haven't heard anything from the store's main branch. They gave us these new manuals to memorize, but there were so many regulations. And then these scary Kaiser guards come in sometimes to make sure we're following all their rules. 
people are saying that all the Angel 24 shops are gonna close and be replaced with Kaiser 26 shops. <laughs> My job. No, Sora! Sora, you will always have a job. I, 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 I under the authority of Sholly, I, I can try to do something, I'm sure. I just, oh, this is terrible. I've heard really scary things about the Kaiser 26 shops. Uh, I heard they have work. They have to work a full 26 hours in a day, Sensei. I don't think I could last. Um, Sora? <laughs> There's only 24 hours in a day. Um, it's impossible to work 26 hours a day. I was wondering where the 26 in the name came from, though. Um, were you able to eat despite all that? Uh, yes! Uh, luckily, I packed myself lunch today. I made too much meat and potato stew yesterday, so I just brought the leftovers for dinner. Oh, Sora! Let me get you something. Oh, uh, um, <laughs> if you want, you can have mine. No, no, it's okay, really. <laughs> that was my stomach. <laughs> That was Sora's and that she was just trying to make me feel better, but no, it's mine. <laughs> um, no, it, it's okay, really? You're fine. I No, please eat it yourself. <sighs> I couldn't bring myself to take Sora's dinner, so I politely refused and headed back to the chalet office. Ugh. <sighs> God, I'm starving. <laughs> God, oh, someone's here. Hey, Fox Eats Delivery here. Fox Eats. I have got a food delivery for someone named Yumi. Um... I didn't order any food, though. Odd. I have an order for an Inari Zushi Bento. Supposed to be delivered right here to the Chalet Executive Office. Oh my god. Is this Nico? <laughs> Is this Nico? Nico! Are you giving me food? If you open the door, I can verify the details for you. I'm a little suspicious still, though. Mm, oh god, oh god, oh god! Open the door, don't open the door! Uh, I think it's Nico. I, uh... But I'm a little scared! Uh, what else do you want me to do? We can't just leave without giving them the food. Adhesive explosive secure. Everyone take cover. Oh god! No, don't blow up my door! <laughs> what are you doing? Don't do this! No, 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 no! Hold on, hold on. What's going on here? Don't blow up my door. No, 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 no! I just fixed that. <laughs> Three, two, one. Wait, 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 wait! I can just... <sighs> hold on, hold on now. Rip door chan indeed. Wow, that did a little more than I expected. A togi! How much did you put on that charge? The door's completely blown off. Oops. <laughs> My bad. I'm a sniper. Don't blame me for not knowing how explosives work. Uh, uh so, so sorry, Sensei. We'll get that door fixed right up for you. The scout's honor. You guys, what are you doing here? Why did you blow up my door? <laughs> Why did you do this? I'd um say good evening, but given the circumstances, <laughs> still, we're genuinely glad to see you again, Sensei. I'm very surprised to see you, Nico, but I am hoping that this is good news. I'm hoping you're not here to do anything bad to me. It's rather late. Have you had dinner yet? No, I haven't. Um, 
Did you find out about what was happening to Angel24? Are, are you here to provide me some food because of that? We had a feeling that you hadn't. Nico, you sweet person, why are- Please don't follow Yukino's orders, please! Please! Please don't do this! <laughs> I heard there were some unexpected hiccups in the supply chain as we transitioned power, and Shale's store was somehow missed. You really tried there, Nico. We all know it's just someone throwing a petty fit. <laughs> oh my god, that's so sweet of y'all! I... Are, are you all gonna get in trouble for helping me out? I, I don't want you all to get in trouble, but also I don't want you to follow Kaya's orders. <laughs> Messing with food supplies, really? That's just childish. But pretty tactical if you think about it. An empty stomach is going to win out over your ideals every time. <laughs> It's not as if Sensei is staging a sit-in at Shale's executive office, though. It's a little bit immature. Well, for now, we from Fox Eats, <laughs> I mean the Fox Squad, will provide supplies where we can. Is this Inari Zushi? Yep, do you remember the ones from last time? I do, Nico. That was very kind of you. You gave me a lot of uh, very important information that I wouldn't have known otherwise about Kaiser trying to redevelop the park. I really appreciate that. You seem to enjoy them, so I made more for you this time. Go ahead and enjoy. Uh, though I understand and wouldn't be offended if you're a bit wary, given the current situation. Yeah, y'all did kind of blow up my door. <laughs> I just fixed that, okay? There was a lot of stuff that went down in volume F, and uh, a lot of Shale was damaged, so... <sighs> it's fine, though. It's fine. And it's time to eat Nico's Inari Zushi. <sighs> They're already eating, Nico. But wait, did, did you just eat it? Just like that? Are, are you, um, well, not in your right state of mind, perhaps? Listen, it's been a really long day, okay? I was so hungry. This is so good. I'm great, actually. The fried tofu is smooth, and the rice is just the right texture. That's not what I meant. I know it sounds odd for me to suggest it, but did it ever cross your mind that we might have tampered with it? Uh-huh. Like, poison? <laughs> it, 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 is this poison? No, well, n no, but... Sensei, I think you're missing the point. We kind of, um, we're kind of on opposite sides right now. I'm sure you're well aware that we've allied with acting President Kaya so that she'll support the revival of SRT. Shortly after rejecting Kaya to her face, people who work for her come offering food, and you don't suspect any ulterior motives? Uh, are you naive? Or are you just stupid? <laughs> Listen, oh god, don't call me out like this. <laughs> I trust you all, to some extent. <laughs> I know they say to keep your enemies close, but not so close you would eat their food. You know, on the battlefield, sometimes we leave behind faulty ammunition for enemies to loot. It's a similar concept. That's why SRT Academy teaches its students to never touch the food and water rations that belong to the enemy. Yeah, but, um, I don't know. Yukino isn't here for one thing. <laughs> Automatically, the trust factor has gone up tremendously because Yukino isn't here. And then also, I don't know, Nico helped me before. There's like a pre-established trust here. That being said, I, I probably should be more suspicious. <laughs> but listen, y'all, more importantly, I'm not your enemy. I'm just your teacher. Oh! <laughs> Uh, 
Um, you truly do live up to your reputation. Nothing good comes from such unconditional trust, even with allies or friends. If people see you as overly trusting, they might think you're naive or unreliable, which can hinder negotiations. Those who aren't wary or skeptical of others' motives tend to get the short end of the stick in life. Knowing this, why do you continue to be the way that you do? I've learned that trust yields more benefits than suspicion ever could. It's not like I'm not suspicious of people. <laughs> Obviously, I'm skeptical, and I try to keep things in mind. Why do you think I turned down Kaya? But I by and large think that it's better to trust as much as you can. Philosophies and ideals. Do you know about the prisoner's dilemma, Sensei? It's a psychological theory. Two prisoners are separated and given two options. If neither betrays the other, both prisoners are free to go. But if one chooses to cooperate and the other doesn't, only the betrayer goes free. In summary, two prisoners can either cooperate for mutual benefit or betray each other for personal gain. Typically, they end up betraying one another because it's the optimal choice. While it's just a theory, it emphasizes the need for self-preservation. We've dealt with all kinds of criminals, and I've never once seen someone sacrifice their well-being for someone else's benefit. Well, um, we might need to sit down and talk for a bit. <laughs> because uh, there's been some things that have gone down that you might be interested in in that regard. The so-called trust that adults brag about is no different. It's complicated. Your perspective is definitely interesting, but I'm not sure I completely agree with it. It's basic game theory. You hardly need specialized training to... Uh, what? what, what did, did you just compliment us? <laughs> oh no, you found her weak spots. I'll fear the compliment. <laughs> but your theory, I think reality will often surprise you about how good people can be to each other. Real life is more nuanced than some simple game theories, that's true. What effects will your decision have on the future? Will the results of this game affect the next? But. Sensei, this game isn't really about winning this round, or losing that one. The most effective method in winning anything is to make sure the loser can't return. Plant so much fear in your opponent, so much distrust and betrayal, they'll never oppose you again. Oh, <laughs> oh god, uh, we need to sit down and have a talk, um, Fox Squad. That is a very twisted way of looking at things. Oh, God. Sensei, you'll likely never see us again when everything is said and done. We probably won't even remember your answer to this game, Sensei. We're weapons who can only point forward. Nico, don't say that. That's not true. You can't just think of yourselves as tools. No one is a tool. <laughs> That's not fair. You can't think of yourself like that. You're a person. It's an insignificant decision that no one will care about at the end of the day. Given that, do you still trust us? I do. If you're not going to take us seriously, then... Kirumi, chill out. Even if we say we'll walk out of here today and forget all of this happened, you'll hang your hat on tomorrow's potential? Of course. I always like to be hopeful about the future. I want you all to live a good life. I don't want you to think of yourselves as weapons. Oh my god! My job is to teach you how to get to tomorrow in whatever way you want. 
That's the whole point, for my students to become tomorrow's adults. <laughs> You're quite the character, Sensei. Just as weird as they say. You know, your squad, the Fox Squad, is a testament to the power of trust. I've seen how much trust the Fox Squad has in their leader. The trust you have in Yukino is the core of your strength. I don't think you all have any grounds to say that trust is um, not something to consider when you all trust Yukino, uh, often against your better judgment. Our trust in Yukino? Well, <laughs> you're not wrong. She is our squad leader, after all. Is there something wrong with that? No, not at all. The Fox Squad's bonds have always been unbreakable. So you can stop trying to slide your way in with your pretty words. She's our friend. She always has been, and since before she became our squad leader. Well, this certainly has been an illuminating night. We've delivered your food, so our mission here is complete. It appears we dropped by unannounced attack to you with a barrage of questions and are now unceremoniously leaving. My apologies. To make up for it, did you want to ask us anything? How are the rabbits? Are they adjusting well? Are they happy with their decision? The rabbit squad is... Our team locations are classified, so we can't divulge that. Take the 10 bus headed towards Shinkiro from the station in front of Chalet. Get off at the final stop and walk one kilometer east following the dried up valley. And you'll find a facility that's not on the map. Let's go, Nico! Let's go, Nico! Oh my god! Let's go, Nico! Oh my god! Oh my god! You are wonderful! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I never would have found it. It's not even on satellite imagery. Oh my god. Nico, this is fantastic. Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my word. It'll look like a deserted camp but it's actually a fully operational training facility for SRT students, active since before the General Student Council president disappeared. The Rabbit Squad is stationed there right now. You can ask how they're doing yourself. N Nico, you can't just tell her, you can't just tell them that. The location of SRT squads is second class confidential information. It's fine. They're not in prison, and they should be able to have visitors. But, um, if you could keep this under wraps, especially from Yukino. Ugh, I just can't with you. Whatever, I have no thoughts on this anymore. I'm technically outranked here, Deputy Squad Leader. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, some cracks are forming in the Fox Squad. <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Woo! <laughs> Thanks, both of you. If Sensei can get through to those girls, maybe there's hope for us, too. Nico! Nico, yes, of course there's hope for you. Thank you. Thank you for being willing to hear me out. Thank you for being willing to at least entertain the possibility that there's a future for you all. Take care of yourself, Sensei. Ah! Ah! After they took off, 
I savored the remaining Inari Zushi as I wondered what to do next. Probably fix my door. <laughs> I need to fix my door. <laughs> uh, first things first, I gotta make some calls and fix my poor door. If for some reason, Nico's Inari Zushi was even more delicious than last time. Oh, oh my God, I'm so happy that they came by. Oh my God. Oh, oh, that was so nice. Oh, <laughs> if you open the door, they wouldn't have blown it up. It's true. <laughs> I was suspicious though. Even though I suspected it was Nico, I, I was too worried. <laughs> I was too worried about it. Oh, SRT's justice. You know, we do need a vault door at this point. <laughs> it keeps getting blown up. Oh, God. Our poor door. <laughs> no, it was good. It's fine. Our door, our door was going to be blown up at some point. <laughs> oh, oh my God. They finally have proper showers. Man, I haven't had a decent hot shower in forever. All of my tension just went whoosh. Nothing beats a shower after a long day of work. Ah, what an eventful day. Seriously, the days used to drag on so slowly at the park when we had nothing to do. This is why I'm saying people really benefit from strict rules and a regimented schedule. You say that as if you didn't wake up at precisely 5 a.m. every day at the park, too. <laughs> okay, okay. I did have fun, too. I got to fire off some special ammo that I've held back on in the park due to budget constraints. It's been a while since we've had the safety of a secure facility. It's reassuring. It's nice to not have to worry about wild animals or lost hikers, like at the park. <laughs> oh god! But... Is something wrong, Miyu? Did something happen today? Oh... The rabbit squad. No, it, it's just... Is all of this comfort really okay? It seems a little silly, but I never appreciated the luxury of a hot shower and fresh-cooked meals until now. I can't help but feel guilty for making you all rough it out on the park for so long. N no, I, I, I didn't mean it. Uh, that kind of comfort, like... We don't have to make any decisions here, right? What we eat, what we do, even deciding if our last decision was good or bad. The, the Fox Squad chooses everything for us, so I don't have to be anxious about anything. But should SRT students be living? in that kind of comfort when everyone out there is scared because they don't know what's going to happen to Kivotos? It's like... It's like my clothes look like they fit, but they don't feel like it. I, I don't know. Oh, well, that's... Um, very mature of you, Miu. <laughs> to recognize that your situation, even though it's nice to have everything taken care of and just follow the directions of uh, <sighs> the Fox Squad, um, maybe this is bad. Maybe this is bad. It's natural to question such a big life change like this. You've been through a whirlwind of a day, so it makes sense you would have all these questions and feelings. Oh, why don't you sleep on it? And things might feel clearer tomorrow. Oh, Miyako. My girl, don't lie to yourself like this. Oh, God. M maybe. Oh. Honestly, I kind of miss the makeshift barrel baths with everyone. <laughs> Heating up the water was a pain, but... 
I was always worried about prying eyes and the tub was too cramped for a proper wash. But despite all that, I always felt a kind of pride as an SRT member, <laughs> using our skills and know-how to survive. Oh. Now I'm physically at ease, but instead of an SRT recruit, I feel more like a hired mercenary. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's correct! Saki, you are a hired mercenary now! That is, th your instinct is right! I uh, actually get what you're saying for once. At the park, even the small-scale drills were exhilarating. <laughs> they gave me a high. With unlimited access to top-tier gear now, it almost dulls the thrill. Don't get me wrong, it's exciting, but it was just... off. Like, the same enjoyment just isn't there. What about you, Miyako? What? what? Me? I... I've found the conditions to be very satisfactory. The squad can focus wholly on training now, and not where our next meal is coming from. As the squad leader of Rabbit, working towards the revival of SRT, I have no complaints. Miyako, this is why you need to talk to people. <laughs> this is why you need to talk to people instead of just assuming that you're making the right decision for everyone. I know that you were concerned and you wanted to do good by the people who had so much trust in you, but... Look at how much regret everyone has, how much concern they have about being hired mercenaries, about being weapons. And even Miyako has thoughts about this too. Well, I guess I'm deputy squad leader now. Oh, yeah, yeah, you still didn't answer my question. What about you? How are you doing? What are you thinking? The unwavering justice you've idolized and wouldn't shut up about since I met you. The facilities, the hot meals, and warm beds. Do all those things make it worth it for you, Miyako? Excuse me. I'll leave you all to it. Oh, Miyako. Here's the thing, even though they did talk, it wasn't really talking. They weren't really weighing the pros and cons of the situation. <laughs> and she didn't even talk with Sensei either, Miyako! And now everyone has such big doubts! Oh god. I'd forgotten. Guard duty right after a shower used to be one of my favorite shifts. Ugh. Oh. Feeling the breeze through my damp hair is weirdly comforting. Familiar. Familiar where everything is unfamiliar. Even the equipment feels different from our old weapons. They'll adjust to this lifestyle. It's good for them. What, what was that? An intruder? Why would someone break in through the shower room? The entrance is on the other side of the building, and no common roads lead to here. Was it a wild animal? Hey, Miyako. <laughs> Good evening. I, I hope I didn't startle you. Um... <laughs> S sensei How are you here? H how did you even find us? Um, let's just say that's kind of a secret. I guess I followed the scent of the rabbit squad? Like a, g a real wild animal? <laughs> She's not gonna buy that for a second. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm placing you under arrest. Oh god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was a joke, it was a bad joke. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Don't place me under arrest. <laughs> it was supposed to be...
me a joke like I, I was I was a dog. I was tracking your location. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sensei's predicament. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Miyako. I couldn't I couldn't tell them though. Could you can you imagine if I let her know? That would be real bad. Oh god. Well. Oh god. Now how the turntables. I'm being interrogated now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please help me understand. How and why are you here? It was a bad joke, please. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Miyako. I, I'm here to see you. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. This is a military facility completely removed from any city or town. Even if I were to be generous and assume happenstance, you can't just happen upon this compound. You surely understand the inherent risks of coming to a military site completely unarmed and alone. You came all this way, avoiding detection and risking your safety. So yes, I find it hard to believe your reason is that mundane. So I'll ask you again, Sensei. Why are you here? I know you don't believe me, but the reason really is that mundane. I'm here to see you, Miyako. Did, did you come to change my mind? I thought I made it clear in my letter. I've made my decision. Once Chief Kaya assured SRT's revival, our stint at Kosagi Park was over. A fully equipped base like this, providing all essentials, is optimal for my squad. Or rather, my entire unit. I weighed the factors and made the best decision for my squad. And now, I no longer make decisions. I am a weapon, meant to carry out orders. So there's nothing you can say, Sensei. I'm really not here with an agenda, as much as I want to change your mind. <laughs> You're not a weapon, Miyako. I just wanted to know if you're enjoying yourself. Are you having fun here, Miyako? What bearing does that have on this situation? I'm an operative of SRT, maintaining justice and safeguarding the public. Pleasure is a luxury meant for those who haven't assumed these duties. If you're satisfied with that, that's one thing, but I think you're misunderstanding your duty. Haven't you considered that maybe you've mistaken what your duty to justice is? My... my duty? Uh, how? Isn't duty about fulfilling a responsibility? Fulfilling a duty should never include suffering or pain. Your real duty will never contradict your ideals. Duty and responsibilities are a gift, not a punishment. You have a responsibility to yourself. Miyako, you have a duty to enjoy being alive. So, are you having fun? Oh, that face. <sighs> this is why I knew I couldn't see you before I left. Oh. <laughs> I always thought growing up was about enduring hardship. I thought that the only way I could grow was if I let go of my naivete and trust and compassion. Sensei, I, I had managed to convince myself that it was okay to reject my ideals, my justice. This is what it was to be a part of the real world. It felt like my impending adulthood was chastising my younger self. Be stronger, be harder, be smarter. 
I didn't want to believe that the justice I love didn't have a place in this adult world. But what did I know about growing up? That must be how it is. If I believed that, if my squad members could benefit, I thought I could be at peace. So why are you coming and telling me that I shouldn't throw away who I am to follow the highest order? Why would you tell me this when I'd finally resigned myself to being Yukino's weapon? Will you please stop telling a bunch of clueless children to make their own decisions? I'm sorry, but your justice? It has a place in my adult world, at least. You... You... <laughs> you weirdo. You're making me sound like Saki now. Okay, Sensei. You win. I understand now. <laughs> Let's go, Miyako! <laughs> Follow me. This way. Miyako, let's go! Oh, I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you for understanding. I'm proud of you for understanding that there is a path forward. That following the justice and the truth of this world and not um, supporting a coup that terrorizes the citizens, that is good. The exit is down this hall. It won't last forever, but I've disabled the alarm system for now. Exit through here, and promise me you'll go straight to the bus stop without anyone noticing you. You're letting me go? Just like that? You're not reporting me to the foxes? Yes, right now I'm in charge of security. And if they find out that you're here, Sensei, that won't be easy to smooth over. I'm a member of SRT, remember? Protecting civilians like you is part of my job. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, Miyako, what are you planning to do? I, I am going to do my duty. I don't really know how to do something like this, so I might mess it up. It's okay either way, you'll be fine. Remember, Miyako, I've always got your back. I'll take responsibility for any blowback. I've got this. We've got this. <laughs> Understood. Let's go! <sighs> Late. Anything unusual during your watch? No, nothing at all. Is that so? We received new orders. Rabbit Squad will be joining us. Isn't this map? I thought you might recognize it. These are the blueprints to the Koosagi station platform. Tomorrow at 0900, a Kaiser construction cargo train will pull into platform two of Koosagi Station and will unload the Antioch thermobaric warhead. The station will be closed till midday for offloading. To counter potential threats, Rabbit Squad will assist Kaiser security in locking down the perimeter. The, the Antioch warhead? Th that's the bomb that you retrieved and disabled on the Fox Squad's first public operation. Correct. The, the entire point of relocating it outside of DU was to ensure the people's safety. Now we're bringing it back into the heavily populated city? What is the council? N no, actually... What are you planning, Yukino? Once unloaded, the warhead will be placed in the station's underground silo and detonated. All personnel will evacuate first, and then our squads. You're setting it off underground 
inside a subway station in the heart of the city? There couldn't be a worst case scenario to detonate it. The confined quarters will amplify. You needn't remind me. I'm more versed in the Antioch's power than most. If, if that's true, then even more reason you should see the insanity in this. What could your rationale possibly be to continue supporting this? I am executing orders. The General Student Council will take responsibility with the public. Then forget the responsibility. You're asking us to stake our lives on a dangerous and immoral operation. At the least, we deserve an explanation as to why you're doing this. Everything I've done, I've done for the revival of the SRT Academy. Maybe that's not good enough, Yukino. Do you hear yourself, Yukino? You're trying to use the fear and terror of the very people our academy was established to protect to rebuild SRT? A version of SRT that jeopardizes public safety and leans on other people's authority has no right to claim the name. Rights aren't handed out. They're taken. If this is what it takes to come out of this situation, we will be justified to the future students of SRT. Will we, though? I remember hearing you say on the TV all those years ago that no matter the obstacle, SRT's justice never wavers. I fight for my principles and justice I've learned over the years. You can tarnish the SRT name all you want, but those values will never change. This is a direct order. Can I take this as insubordination? No, you can't actually. You aren't my superior. In fact, I would say you're the one who's my insubordinate, Chichido Yukino. Let's go, Miyako! Just spitting fire over here! Oh my god! So proud of you, Miyako! Oh my god! Because the General Student Council President is the only one authorized to give us orders. Oh, snap! Mm! Let's go! <laughs> Miyako, I'm so proud of you! M Miyako. Uh, I mean, I guess we all knew deep down this was gonna be the end result. Excuse me. <laughs> well, well, well. Well, 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 well! Yeah, no, everyone was just listening in. <laughs> oh boy, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh my God, let's go. No, oh, I'm so proud of Miyako. I'm so proud of her. Oh man. All right, it's time. It's time to hop into a a bunch of combat here. Let's hop into our next part, showing off. Oh, before I do, actually, I think it's time for a hydration check. Everyone, it's been almost two hours. Hydration check. Make sure that you all <laughs> get some drinks, have some water, have some coffee, have some tea. Um, make sure to stay hydrated here. Yeah, things are going down. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's go. Let's hop into the next bit here. Showing off. Oh, yeah, I know it doesn't feel like it's been two hours. <laughs> I just looked at the I looked at the time. Oh. The next morning, while I was finishing up cleaning the last of the rabbit squad's traces from the park. 
rummaging through young ladies' belongings as soon as they're gone, Sensei? You really are a suspicious person. Miyako! I, I, I'm just trying to clean up the camp, for one thing. I'm defending myself here. And also, welcome back, Miyako. I'm glad that you made it. Thank you for helping me find my way back. Rabbit 1. Returning to Camp Rabbit, as promised. And the others? It wasn't right to bring them along. I've stepped down as their leader. How could I ask them to give up their comfortable, settled lives to return to camping and expired bentos? The other squad members are smarter than I am, so I'm sure they'll find their way, even without your help. But no more pleasantries. This is urgent and dire. Man, I love how Miyako acknowledges that the others were already picking up on how wrong the situation was, so she has confidence that they'll figure things out. They also, like, I don't know, that she didn't, like, force anyone to come with her, even though I think they would have come with her very willingly. <laughs> but let's do this, Miyako. All right. We can fix this. Miyako quickly revealed the general student council and the Fox Squad's plot. Oh. Um, thank you for getting me up to speed, Miyako, but I want to clarify. They're planning to set off a bomb under a subway station? They're trying to commit terrorism. Half the city will blow. Sensei, keep your voice down. This operation is top secret, known to only a few in the General Student Council. If word gets out, it'll be pandemonium. I'm sorry, I don't want to cause a panic. I I was just so shocked. Should we start evacuating people? Like, we, we can't let this happen. So, this thermobaric warhead, it's really that destructive? Yes. The thermobaric warhead was specially created in order to attack fortified targets and heavy tanks that traditional weapons can't scratch. On impact, it ignites all the oxygen in its blast radius and releases a tremendous shockwave. While devastating on the surface, underground, its, poten its potency skyrockets. The released vapor clouds will fill the enclosed area and ignite. It won't even leave bodies behind for the bereaved to bury. Its destructive power would be beyond anything Kivotos has ever experienced. Dear God, we need to do something about this then! Oh, no! If the Antioch Project Blueprints are correct, the damage radius is approximately five kilometers. Kousagi Town would be wiped off the map. What could possibly be the reason for them to do this? To instill fear in the hearts of the masses. God. Uh, so that they'll all come running to, to Kaya to save them. They'll all fear the power that they possess. Oh, God. Yukino said this was for the revival of SRT Academy, but the ultimate goal of this operation is an intimidating show of strength, a flex of the might of the General Student Council and what they can wield over the public. Acting President Kaya's opponents would think twice about outwardly resisting her after a display like that. Oh my god! <laughs> But their petty goals aren't what matter here. What matters is that they succeed. The damage, injuries, and death toll would be incomprehensible. I have to stop this before my seniors cross a line that can never that they can never come back from. <sighs> They've always paved the way forward for me, so I'll just have to help them find a way back out. Miyako! Oh, God! I say that, but it's so overwhelming. If we fail, 
I don't know where to start. I'm scared of the consequences if this is the wrong decision. I needed your perspective on it. Ugh. Is there any way to stop the detonation? Given the warhead's one ton weight, it's impractical for manual transport. We'd need heavy machinery to move it, so stealing it isn't possible. And I somehow doubt any Kaiser personnel there will let us just roll in with a tank. At worst, they might just detonate it prematurely. Oh god, that would be terrible. <laughs> We need to stop the detonation before the Fox Squad realizes what's happened. We'll need a specialized strike force to infiltrate the station and disarm the bomb. A small strike force, you say. The only thing that can take out one special unit's force is another. In other words, only SRT can stop SRT. Going against the Fox Squad, it'll be an entirely different game. I'm... I'm inferior in experience, combat, ability, and equipment. I don't know. Rely on your strengths, Miyako. Don't worry about theirs. You really shouldn't doubt yourself so much. You'll only hold yourself back. Have confidence in your abilities. You've got this. You're right. If I don't believe in myself, how can I ask the other members to trust me? I just have to rely on my instincts and move forward. Rabbit 1, executing operation. Oh boy! <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh boy, that's a lot of uh, Kaiser Special Ops. <laughs> oh god. This is Rabbit One. The current time is 1040. I just arrived at the operation site. Predictably, the security is tight. Six guards at the main entry and exit points, and a couple of patrols on the perimeter. It'd be impossible for me to slip into the station without alerting at least one guard. I'm guessing a head-on assault won't work? If we had two more people, it would be doable. But with just me, they'll call for reinforcements before I can incapacitate them. I wish the rest of the squad was here. It would be great if someone could run a diversion for us. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Well, 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 indeed. Oh, oh wait! I recognize that head! <laughs> what a strange coincidence to cross paths here. Who's that, um, a very non-possessive cult-looking person? <laughs> Once a seeker of truth and nature's harmony, a practitioner of nature and minimalism. Now a servant to the common good. <laughs> Descartes, what happened to you? Descartes, the civilized. Oh my boy, what have they done to you? <laughs> what happened? Did you get kidnapped? Oh no, he's been forced into work. Oh, he's been forced into working for Kaiser. Oh no. Um, I'm surprised to see you here, Descartes. What are you doing here? Really now? My uniform didn't give it away. Then again, you've always been privileged with a life above the law. I, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Kaiser Security gave me a proper education when I was arrested. Oh God. <laughs> Oh god. Great, great. They're just making more 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 uh goons to work for them. It, forcing people into uh <laughs> indentured servitude. That's fun. Oh, great work, Kaiser. 
They thoroughly taught me the error of my ways, of being a parasite on society's underbelly, leeching away without contributing. The sheer value of the sweat upon one's brow. No, oh, really, you, you pulled up your bootstraps, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, great. Now I've found purpose in Kaiser security, serving as a guard, ensuring public safety. That... that's... great. Interrogating suspicious individuals is a security guard's duty, and you two, lurking and scouting the station, are particularly suspicious. Descartes, don't do this. Don't do this right now. Despite our past, I can't neglect my citizen's duty. I ask for your cooperation in this inspection. Um... Can you just let this slide, Descartes? This one time? What? You want me to pretend I didn't see you? Sensei, are you trying to belittle my duty as a guard and a responsible citizen? No, Descartes, I'm trying to tell you that you've been brainwashed. <laughs> I must protect this station, the home of my fellow pursuers. The Kaiser Corp is going to blow up Koosagi Station. Wh what in the world? This may be hard to believe, but... You tell him, Miyako. You tell him! Miyako laid out everything to Descartes. I like how she she does trust him enough to do this. She thinks she can sway him with this. That's nice. Your claims are hard to swallow. Y you would have to be a crazy person to set off a bomb in such a densely populated station. And just to solidify your power? <laughs> the, there's no way. Well, thinking about what Kaiser Corporation has done in the past, it's actually not that hard to believe. I've experienced Kaiser Security's bottomless greed firsthand. Kaiser promised to provide one pudding cup a day to security guards during their shifts. But they claim to have run out of pudding yesterday. Do you know what they gave us instead? Cognac jelly, of all things. <laughs> Descartes, we need to have a talk about your priorities. <laughs> you can't be swayed so easily by these people. I understand the pudding is good, but listen. <laughs> I... I see. I've kept my head down and worked hard, even in these conditions. I thought enduring small inconveniences for the greater good was a hallmark of a responsible citizen. But now you mean to tell me that the General Student Council and Kaiser Corp, oh, with all their wealth and power, want to destroy Kousagi Station to hoard even more wealth and power? And Kousagi Station of all places, many citizens and even my comrades call this place home. I... I won't stand for this elitist scheme. Leave it to me. I promise you my full cooperation if it's to protect Kousagi Station and all my comrades inside. Thank you for your understanding, Descartes. Good work, Miyako. Bringing some people to our side. Perfect, 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 perfect. You're not completely lost yet, Descartes. <laughs> the enemies outnumber us greatly, so the only way we'll be able to get through is if you run a diversion. Well, I'd love to stick it to some evil Kaiser overlords, my weapons were all confiscated when I was arrested. Even this silly little pistol is just a toy with blanks. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, they don't trust you not to turn on them, it seems. That's not an issue. Here, I have more than enough ammo. Oh, the weight of a loaded weapon. Oh, I've missed this. God, Descartes. <laughs> I've had enough of the constant ridicule and oppression I've endured. Thank you, Miyako. It is now time for me to return as Descartes, the leader of the pursuers. Yes, thank you. The further away you can get the guards from the entrance, the better. Let's go, Descartes. Let's go. 
he's ready. He's got everything ready to go. Old outfit, let's go. To all my fellow pursuers, rally at Kousagi Station. The evil capitalists of Kaiser Corporation intend to wield their insatiable greed to sully our precious sanctuary. Huh? Y you finally giving up on the perpetrators thing? P -p pursuers! They're short for the pursuers of non-possessive happiness. <laughs> uh, ahem. I never gave up my life of non-possession. I merely sought to understand how those with possession think. Mm. I came face to face with the greed that has infiltrated their very souls. <laughs> I'm sorry you did. I'm sorry you did, Descartes. <laughs> Having seen their evil up close, I can bear it no longer. I will not allow these Kaiser soldiers to plant their roots down in our territory any longer. Let us show these greedy gluttons the beauty of simplicity. I'm game. Not like I have anything else to do. Why not? I love a good opportunity to stir the pot. Today, we defeat greed. Today, we defeat capitalism. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> I'm on board with this. <laughs> let's join together with Minori and everyone else. Let's go! <laughs> Pursuers, charge! Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, um, you should probably wait a second. <sighs> he always comes and goes like a tornado. It's not the ideal distraction, but the chaos will confuse the enemy, at least. I can hardly stand idly by. Sensei, lead the way. <laughs> let's go, Miyako! Alright, y'all. Let's do it. We're leading the way. Emuchan, let's go! <laughs> oh yay, look! The pursuers are with us! Fantastic. Fantastic. I love that they join with her. That's fantastic. She's by herself, but she's not really by herself. Let's go, Miyako. Get them. Fantastic. Good work, everyone. <laughs> go, go, Emu-chan! Isn't Emu-chan doing so good? I'm so proud. I'm so proud. All right, let's take out this guy. Away! Good work, Miyako. Good work. All right, let's take him down. We almost got them. Almost got them all. Just one more. Two more to go. Perfect. Beautiful. Good work, everyone. <laughs> Good work, Miyako! Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <sighs> okay, things are looking good. We, we were able to get some allies. This is good. This is very good. <sighs> okay. Next. Elite versus elite. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, God. <laughs> explosions ungrateful lot we sheltered you clothed you fed you and this is the thanks we get you know what shut up kaiser shut up you did not you brain you kidnapped and brainwashed them and forced them into uh servitude you don't get to talk you're the ones who forced the uniforms on folks not seeking employment all this ordeal taught me is that i never want to work again that I will fight all forms of material possession. Have at you, villains. You thin twig. You're no match for Descartes. Traitor. Who are you calling a twig? <laughs> oh. Someone help. <laughs> no, Descartes. Don't go down. Ow. This really hurts. Fighting Kaiser corpse. Elite forces is brutal. Retreat. Yeah, that's good. Retreat, everyone. Retreat for now. Get back here, you wimps. We're not outnumbered anymore, thanks to the pursuers, but breaking through is still another story. It's only a matter of time before Kaiser sends reinforcements. If we don't break through before then, we'll be surrounded. Oh no, that's not good. We haven't even made our way through. Wait, wait, everyone come back. I understand that this is difficult, but wait. <laughs> 
you all to stay safe, but we still need you. It's dangerous, so let me lead the way and... Oh? Th that's a familiar face. Oh? <gasps> this is a public facility meant for civilian use. What's all this chaos? Kana! Let's go! Kana! Oh my god! A team up again! Oh my god, this is fantastic! Let's go! Someone give me an update now, Kaiser. Oh, thank goodness. Please do something about this director. Maintaining order is your job, right? Maintain it, please. Oh no! be on our side, Kana! No! Is that the feral hound from last time? Kana? <gasps> Kana! What are you doing? Do you know what it means for the Public Peace Bureau director to open fire on us? Our authority was granted to us directly from the acting president. Director? Who? Of what? I'm on leave right now, actually. A disciplinary action. I don't have much to lose, don't you think? So, you're- you're just out causing trouble? You have no authority here? The security of this area is our purview, so you Valkyrie punks can run along now. You're mistaken. Another group has jurisdiction over DU security, too. Valkyrie Police School Administrative Regulations, Article 32, Paragraph 1. Students of the Valkyrie Police Public Safety Bureau have the authority to make arrests of individuals who interfere with public transportation services. Hell yeah, Kana bureaucracy, let's go! <laughs> I thought I'd help out my juniors at the Public Safety Bureau during my disciplinary community service period. <laughs> let's go! This is the Public Safety Bureau. Drop your weapons and get on the ground. Who do you think you're pointing your gun at? We are just following protocol, according to the regulations. And Kaiser Security has to follow those regulations, just like the rest of us. Due to the public disturbances around this train station, we will detain you at Valkyrie Police School. If you resist, we have the authority to bring you in by force. <laughs> but let's just save all of us the extra work. The Public Safety Bureau is arresting us? Oh, this is rich. <laughs> this is no laughing matter. Yeah, just because they're mostly a civilian force doesn't mean... <laughs> How is it not? What's the Public Safety Bureau gonna do? Throw a donut at us? Oh! <laughs> the brutality. <laughs> Brutality. They can do stuff though. They they've proven themselves so many times here. <laughs> Them do be fighting words. We might be under a different name now, but we're S O F, PMC's elite, the best of the best in Kaiser. Are you sure you weren't soap? <laughs> The little rookies from Valkyrie's Public Safety Bureau, armed with little pea shooters, are gonna bring us in. <laughs> it doesn't matter how good a commander or whatever you think you are. No amount of positive thinking is going to bridge the gap between us and a bunch of rookies. Rookies? <laughs> there seems to be a misunderstanding here. The Public Safety Bureau is Valkyrie's most sought-after department to be accepted into. I even tried joining once. Got turned down. Oh! I didn't know that! Kana! Oh! What? What? How could the director... I have another fun fact. 
It's been over a decade since Koasagi Station was last serviced, so the supports under the station sign are uh, more rusted than metal now. The Public Safety Bureau got a good handful of concerned calls about it, saying they were worried the sign was going to just fly off every time the wind blows. So we've planned to replace it at the end of this month for safety's sake. Enough with your rambling. An impatient one, aren't you? I'll cut to the chase then. I bet even our little pea shooters could make that sign fall right now. <laughs> oh, wait, you, you wouldn't. Duck in cover. You brats! I won't take this line down. Kirino, smoke grenade. Please cover your nose and mouth. No, oh, let's go! Oh, I can't see. Block the entrance. Don't let them take cover in the smoke and slip through. Let's go! Now the first sign of trouble and they go running straight to protect the station. Didn't take long for them to drop their pretenses. There's definitely something down there. What a miscalculation on their part. A subway station as well trafficked as this one? This is the Public Safety Bureau's home turf. Kirino, Fubuki. Work with the other Public Safety Bureau members to apprehend those creating the chaos. I'll cover the entrance, so we don't have any more uninvited guests. Yes, ma'am! But don't forget that you owe me a limited edition crawler from Master Donuts for this. Ah, <laughs> uh, Fubuki always got her priorities in order. <laughs> if you pull this off, I'll get you a whole dozen. There you go, SRT. I'm entrusting the cleanup to you two. Kana! Let's go! Director Kana, if you disobey direct orders again, it's nothing to worry yourself over. Didn't I already tell you this? I have to take responsibility of my decisions on my own two, sh my own two shoulders. If it's for what I believe in, something like this is child's play. Director. No, oh, let's go! I love how she's still calling her director. <laughs> Sensei, take care of these idiots. Leave it to me. <laughs> now then. It's a bit unfortunate, but it seems everyone knows the name Feral Hound at this point. I didn't ask them to start calling me that, you know. Let me enlighten you on how I earned the name. Oh, let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> because Kana... Kana is extremely, extremely terrifying. She climbed up uh, 10 stories of a building just to try and <laughs> apprehend the, the SRT squad. Oh, God. Ikuzo! All right, everyone, good work. Keep up the pressure. Perfect, perfect. Let's go, take him down. Excellent. God, I love the Valkyrie mobs, it's so good. <laughs> Look at how good Emu-chan is doing! Okay, let's go. Let's take him out. Get him, Kana! <laughs> Perfect. Alright. Sack it. Let's go. Let's go. Get him! Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We're doing good. We're doing good, everyone. Oh, we've even got some of the... Look, Descartes and his folks are here, too. Let's go! Pachi Pachi. Pachi Pachi. <laughs> Good work! Good work, everyone! Okay, let's go. Perfect, perfect. Ooh. Who are these people? How are they moving like this? Where are they coming from? 
We should have the full blueprint of the station. Is there a secret route only they know about or something? No! Candy no! Bingo! What? When did she... No! Old stations like Koasagi Station have undergone numerous renovations, leaving lots of forgotten nooks and crannies. They tend to turn into hot spots for shady activities, so public safety students naturally grow pretty comfortable navigating around. Just didn't think we'd be using them this way. Oh, let's go! Oh, Fubuki! We have hostiles, I mean, uh, improper passengers going to the second floor. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Yep, yep, I have eyes on them. Are they thinking of using the escalators as a shortcut? <laughs> Risky move. Those little punks! Just wait till we catch up. Oh, um, heads up. These escalators are ancient. Please remain vigilant for any sudden stops. <laughs> Thank you. No! Oh! <laughs> huh? Which is why running on escalators isn't advised. It's basic safety, really. <laughs> Let's go! Oh no! Look out! These damn public safety bureau kids are running circles around us with their dirty tactics. We'll take you all down. Oh, look out! Oh! Take heart! <gasps> You're the rookies. It, you're the rookies if you forgot about your opponent, the pursuers. Even if I'm looked down upon with the stain, even if I'm the last man standing, our fight will go on until every citizen in Kivotos understands the freedom of living without the burdens of work or possessions. A world with no work. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> Oh, well, a new alliance has been formed. <laughs> are you perhaps interested in a life of non-possession? We are always ready to accept new believers. But joining the pursuers means giving up some materialistic ties, preferably in the form of cash. Why do I feel like I'm being recruited to a pyramid scheme? It's because they are a bit of a cult. <laughs> Well, well, uh, we, we are on the same page in this case. I, it's a bit of a cult, Fubuki. <laughs> a bit of a pyramid scheme. All clear. North platform is secured. Thank you, Public Safety Bureau. But we wouldn't have made it here with no casualties without your assistance. All in a day's work. Just making sure the passengers and public are safe. In fact, we owe you one for ensuring public order. Thank you. I was very impressed by your close combat abilities today. M m mine? I I've um, I've never trained that before. <gasps> oh my god! Is this Kirino's special ability? Is she secretly good at close combat? She's always trying to be someone who's good with with long range shooting, but but maybe, maybe she should be doing close combat instead. <gasps> Identifying how to control and subdue your enemy's movements in tight spaces is a basic principle of close combat. You do it instinctively. I've always thought about your ability to evaluate and react to a situation was even better than any SRT students. You embody the public safety's reputation for speed and efficiency. That's why I find you very impressive, Kirino. Uh, impressive? M me? Ah, 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 it's uh, always just been a habit of mine to move as efficiently as possible, so I could finish my patrol quickly and hit my go-to eateries. Uh, uh. But, uh, of course, I take immense pride and care in my work as a member of Valkyrie's Public Safety Bureau. Yes, we're under your care as residents of the park. Then I leave the rest to you. Understood. Oh! Oh my word! 
God, I love that Miyako's over here giving praise and trying to show Kiruno that she's got interesting, good special abilities. That's so nice. Oh, that's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay. It's time to jump into the abyss, everyone. <laughs> here we go. Ikuzo. <laughs> oh, God. Sensei, this way. The vertical stairs Kirino described lead to this hallway. The incline is steep, so watch your step. <sighs> this place feels off. Shoddy railing and finishing seem to indicate an unfinished or rushed construction job, but the building has fully functioning utilities. Look, it's a used infrared chemical light. They must have entered the underground facility through here. What's a chemical light for? It's used by special ops in dark areas for identification and signaling. In other words, our Fox counterparts have likely set up a trap for us up ahead. Oh no, I, that's not what I wanna hear. Don't say that, don't say that, Miyako. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, here's the thing, she did leave. They probably expect that she's gonna be trying to come back. Ugh. I'm setting up a breach charge on the door to secure our entry, Sensei. Stand clear. I'm standing clear. I don't want to be anywhere near that. <laughs> okay. Take cover, Sensei. I'm in cover. Okay. Oh? Ah! What is this? A military hangar. The elevators and rail systems are made for transporting military gear. Wait. Wait, what? But this, this, this belonged to the General Student Council, right? A hangar of this scale. It could support a sizable military force. Why here, though? underneath a popular, well-frequented subway station. I've been trying to figure that out, too. Typically, military outposts are built far away from cities or residential areas, usually in undeveloped areas outside of city limits. But technically, if you built one in the middle of the city, like this hangar, you would save a fortune in management and transportation costs. Oh, actually, you know what? When they confiscated the weapon, Kaiser had their own facilities. So this might actually just be Kaiser. That's kind of terrifying. Okay. So this is an old Kaiser hangar? Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, no. It's true. Kaiser probably did build it as an invasion point. Oh, no! Oh, this is bad. Oh, 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 this isn't good. Oh, oh, that's bad. And being under a station, they could easily deploy troops to every corner of DU in a state of emergency. I finally understand why Kaiser Group had such a vested interest in Koosagi Town's redevelopment. Yeah, they they saw this as a strategic point to launch an attack. Oh, God. Setting off a bomb here would wipe out all that investment. I can't believe they agreed to this. This would cost a fortune to replace. You're right. The bomb's explosion would wipe this place off the map entirely. And it really would be like it never existed. I doubt that even those who dwell in the city's underworld have caught a whiff of it, so no one knows it's here. 
They had to dig deeper than anyone else was willing to go to build this place. The idea of a place where they could freely pursue their corporate ambition must have been very appealing to them. And they're willing to give all of that up? Just to strike fear into the hearts of the public? That almost scares me more. Yeah, I kind of agree with you, Miyako. Any second thoughts? No, not at all. It's like how justice only has power if you speak up for it. Hiding away your fear out of pride is as useless as an old bento in the garbage. It took getting discarded myself to learn that lesson. I won't let SRT be built with this authority that they've mooched off of Kaya. The current time is 11.30. Not much time left until the detonation. Our next move should be... Oh no! No, no, no! Who's coming? I hear footsteps. Sensei, wait. This is hostile territory. Rushing in blindly would be deadly. I'll send a drone ahead of us to do some scouting. Activating the drone now. Okay. Oh god. Ah! Typical sniper. Based on the depth of the bullet hole and the speed of the projectile, the sniper is equipped with a 12.7 millimeter anti-material rifle. Otogi's specialty. Against anyone else, I might take the risk of moving forward, but against a togi, that would be suicide. Even I wouldn't be able to take a direct hit from an anti-material rifle. Good god. If we had a point woman who had some ballistic armor, at least. Oh, so now that you need us, you remember us. <gasps> that, that can't be. At least when I was a leader, I only left Miyu behind. Who forgets all three of their squad members? <laughs> oh my god, let's go! I... I can't believe you just left, Miyako. A way to leave us out of the loop. You could have at least asked if we wanted to come. <laughs> I... I didn't think. I... I'm sorry, everyone. I, I couldn't ask more of you. I've already asked too much. Too much? How? You all have made sacrifices for our squad over and over. I couldn't ask you to do it again. I would have been asking you to give up your regimented schedules, unlimited access to firepower, to every kind of creature comfort you enjoy. I... I couldn't do it. After everything we've already been through, I couldn't ask you to abandon your lives for my vision of justice. <laughs> really now? You really are a stubborn squad leader. <laughs> Miyako, it's not just your sense of justice. We all feel the same way. We were all enchanted by the Fox Squad. Their rigid discipline never swayed no matter the situation. The way criminals fell before them, one after the other. And the, the courage that never wavered, no matter how daunting the obstacle. I'm scared of everything, but not when I'm with you guys. Fireworks start to get boring after a couple of nights, honestly. I need the thrill of cutting into our limited supplies. <laughs> God damn it, Moe. <laughs> I've learned recently that there's a lot to learn about the world that isn't in my textbooks. Oh, We'll fight for SRT's justice by your side, Miyako. Mm. 
Oh my gosh. Thank you. Final gear check. Once everyone's ready, follow my lead. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the fox squad. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I get you. It's like we're about to dive into a pitch black cave and we know Cthulhu's in there somewhere. <laughs> very, very true. There was a scene like that in that novel. Mmm, the, the, um... <laughs> the Monty Python and the Holy Grail novel, you say? <laughs> a scene like that. That is very true. Yeah, that Trinity one about the rabbit who faced a group of knights. Those knights saw a message upon entering the rabbit's shadowy lair. Only the brave and the true shall find their way into Care Banag's cave. Oh! I've always liked that story. Have you decided on an operation name yet? Oh, I didn't think of one at all. Well, it seems rather timely to me. Why don't we name the operation after the story then? I like it. Me too. In that case... <laughs> operation Rabbit of Kerbinog, commence. Absolutely amazing. 10 out of 10. God, I love the writers of this game. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, fantastic. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm so proud of you all. I'm so proud of them. Oh yeah. Knock out those drones. Let's go. Hmm. <laughs> Do you all know that Moe is quite strong? <laughs> Hell yeah. Take him out, Moe. Mmm, oh. excellent. Excellent work, Moe. <laughs> good work. Good, good work. Inward we go. Let's take out... Mm, I can take out these two with Saki. Fantastic. Fantastic. And let's go take out all the rest of these with Moe. Boom! All right, inward we go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Whew. Doing good. <laughs> and we go into the cave. The cave of Garbanog. Garbanog's cave. <laughs> I forgot that was the name of the next thing. <laughs> Let's go! Carabinog's cave, everyone! Let's go! Oh my god, infinite hype. Oh, I'm so proud of- I'm so proud of the rabbit squad. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Carabinog's cave. Yukino. The rabbit has walked into the snare. Fox one. Commencing operation. All units maintain positions and report. God, why is the Fox Squad still following her? Ah! What are they doing? What are they doing? And this is Fox 4. I just downed a drone near Alpha. I was worried for a second they were going to charge in, guns blazing. <laughs> Glad Miyako's not a dummy. They've been twiddling their thumbs since then, though. What's their play here? Keep your eyes peeled, Fox 4. They might be rookies, but they're still SRT. Copy. I'm compromised after that shot. I'll reposition and report. This is Fox 3, currently at Point Lima. I'm covering the central elevator right now. Their entrance is funneled by the guardrails. So I've got this choke point under control. Even if they luck out and dodge a shot, they can't just ignore my shield and run through. 
Fox 3, I've got a problem with what you said, actually. Dodge a shot? You think they're gonna dodge one of my shots? <laughs> I trust you so much, I'd run into the battlefield blindfolded if you had my back. But what if they try to burst? I'd be less concerned if your gun had four barrels. Huh. A quad barrel rifle would actually make it a breeze, huh? A Fox 4, back up Fox 3, pin those targets down. They know Otogi is watching them now. I expect Miyako is trying to figure out how to circumvent her right now. The worst case, they take us off guard and find a way to avoid us altogether. The crux of Spec Ops is managing the unpredictable and capitalizing on our strategic advantages. We have the upper hand right now. Given our positional and gear advantage, as long as we respond flexibly as the battle unfolds, our operation should be a success. That's our Yukino. Not like it's a surprise. No one plans an op better than our leader. <laughs> It'll always be to hell and back again for the Fox Squad. Focus, everyone. It won't be much longer now. God, they put so much trust in Yukino. Ugh. Please, Fox Squad, come to your senses. See that Yukino is leading you down a bad, terrible path. Remember the justice that you fight for. Fox 2 reporting in. I have turned the remote control for the central elevator offline. If it's offline, Moe can't hack into it to control the elevator, no matter what tricks she tries. Am I overdoing it? I have a lot of faith in our juniors, but I don't know if they'd even make it this far. You're not. It's like I always say, worst case scenario. <sighs> Yukino, do you really think they could do it? Beat us? It's within the realm of possibility. If they do push through Fox 2 to the center, rendezvous on ground level and await orders. Huh? Sh should we regroup with you, Fox 1? Even if we're compromised, we can back up and provide support from the rear. No. If they take the operations room, we've failed. If they push through, secure an escape route for a quick retreat. I can see the logic, but... Kurumi, I'm sure she has her reasons. Fox One, you can't be. That was an order, Nico. SRT doesn't question orders. Ugh. Copy. Oh my god! Ah! Yeah, no, it does very much seem like in the worst case scenario, Yukino is just going to detonate the bomb herself. She wants all the rest of the Fox Squad to get out. Unbelievable. <sighs> Alright, back to the Rabbit Squad. Our mission, either retrieve or disarm the Antioch Thermobaric Warhead to prevent Fox Squad from detonating it. The warhead is being held in the silo, but the detonation will be triggered from inside the operations room below. To disarm the warhead, we need, we need to take the operations room. <sighs> Easier said than done. She's right. The operations room is deep within the silo, so the only way to access it is through the central elevator. To make matters worse, it's all open air from here to the elevator. Otogi will have a field day. I've already counted 13 good hiding spots. <laughs> she could be anywhere. And normally, we'd take out the sniper, then proceed, but we don't have much time until the detonation. So we'll have to take a full force assault. Don't give them a second to think. 
And Yukino has that battlefield managed down to the millimeter, so the only way we'll win is if we pressure them enough to make a mistake. We'll have to burst in hard and fast. Anything else? Yes, here. I would wager an enemy unit is stationed at Point Lima. Rabbit 2, neutralize that unit. Secure the central elevator's controls. Rabbit 3, hack the elevator as soon as you get the clear. It'll be a snap. What about me? Rabbit 4, take cover here on the outer stairs. Wait for Rabbit 2 to bait out the sniper's shot and triangulate their position. I can do that, no problem, but... Uh, but won't Saki get hurt? <laughs> I'm your point woman, Rabbit 4. That's what I'm made for. And look at this helmet and ballistic armor. Even if I do get hit, it'll be like being knocked by a feather. Uh, okay. That's all fine and dandy, but what's our plan B? If Saki goes down, if I fail hacking the elevator, or if Miu doesn't locate the sniper in time, what do we do? Ew. There's no plan B. Oh no! What? Why? We don't need one. You are all members under my leadership of the Rabbit Squad. How would the fastest, strongest, and most dedicated Special Forces Squad I've ever met lose? So trust each other and execute the site knowing that you'll succeed. Oh, she's trying to go with trying to bolster everyone's confidence. Oh, let's go. Making sure that they feel confident in their abilities as they're heading in here. It's kind of the best chance they have because they don't really have a plan B. It's a nice way to spin that so that they still feel confident about this. Because I believe in every one of you. Oh, geez, Miyako, of all your harebrained schemes, this one really takes the cake. Did I not deliver it well? Oh, no, the speech was too much, wasn't it? Well, harebrained or not, my squad leader's given me an order. Rabbit 2, copy that. Moe, Miyu, cover my six, will you? Let's go! Let's go! <sighs> then commence operation. No, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. <laughs> it's time, y'all. <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, there they are. <laughs> okay. Okay, everyone. Oh, I can't reach her in the back. Uh, let's hit Nico. <laughs> Oh god, we're doing fairly any damage! Oh god! Moe! Moe! Hit that drone too. Okay, perfect. Oh god. Oh god! Uh, I believe in you! I believe in you all! Uh, uh, I guess she's taking more damage. Focus her. Oh god. <laughs> um, well, the Fox Squad is quite strong. I believe in you, Rabbit Squad. Let's go! God, the shields are not helping. The shields are not helping. They did overlevel. Well, they're counting this as a victory. <laughs> I'm not sure that I would necessarily think of that as a victory, but you know what? We did, we did good enough. Charge! Whoo! Okay. Fox 3, I do believe that's your junior running around like a chicken with its head cut off. <laughs> She's really just running out in the open knowing I'm here. She's, she really is your mini me. Even if I wasn't that, even I wasn't that dumb as a freshman. <laughs> Amazing. I've got eyes. Want me to give her a little lesson? Hold off. Fox One said they were planning for you being here and how to handle you. And I think I'd like to have a little talk with my junior. Point woman to point woman. 
Just watch my back, Fox 4. Copy. <laughs> okay, okay, we're doing okay. God, they were very strong, though. That's a little terrifying. Huh. What a coincidence. Do you come here often? <laughs> How many times have I told you? Keep a low profile in enemy territory. Information is your best weapon on the field, and you just handed it over to us. It seems like you need a refresher course, Saki. Because I was really going to sneak down this narrow hallway knowing you guys were watching every inch of it. I'd rather take the fight against your .45 caliber pistol than Otogi sniping. Alright, fine. You needed to close the distance one way or another. But today, I am our squad shield. Let's see who the better point woman is, Saki. Don't get caught off guard, though. Ugh! Oh god! <laughs> Come on, Saki, I believe in you! Oh! Let's go! Get him! Get him, Saki! Get her! Your close combat improved quite a bit in a short time. Smart move using the butt of your gun instead of pulling out a secondary while dodging threats. <gasps> well, she did she did learn that from you, now didn't she, Kurumi? <laughs> exact move from you and has turned it against you. <laughs> yeah, one of my old seniors taught that to me. Write down all my lessons, did you? There never was anyone who could top you when it came to academics. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed to be saying goodbye to such a promising protege. That's fine, because you've disappointed me plenty. <gasps> oh god, throwing hands over here! Oh my god, Saki! It's kind of true, though. How could you, Kurumi? The revival of SRT means nothing if it's built on the blood of the civilians we're supposed to protect. Tools don't question the user's intent. You're in battle. Focus! If you're going to point that gun at someone, you better be ready to shoot it. Mmm, touched a nerve, did we, Kurumi? I don't need to engage here. I'll keep my distance and have her use up as much ammo as I can. Hey, Saki, look here, please. Jeez. Oh, got a flash grenade. Seriously? Ugh. Well, you're too honest, Saki. Every move, every stance, it's all textbook. You're too easy to read. Some people's dispositions just aren't meant for this line of work. You know what, Kurumi? I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna listen to anything you have to say. I think you have abdicated any any opinions on the matter. I think you might just have the wrong impression of me. Unfounded confidence doesn't suit you, Saki. What makes you think you could... Ah, uh, ah, uh, your... Your green horn sniper? <laughs> that one's gonna save you all? She'll get one lucky shot off, at most. She might get me with that one shot, but Otogi will locate and take her down faster than you can say rabbit. You seem to trust your squad mates a lot, huh? Where are you going with this? I wouldn't underestimate our sniper. Sure, she's probably not going to win in a hand-to-hand -hand fight. And to you, she might look weak or timid. But she's the best damn sniper in Kivotos. <laughs> now that I think about it, why hasn't Otogi given you any cover fire yet? That's not very like her. I will say, Miyu did score first place in infiltration and stealth every single time. <laughs> How the turntables! Mm. Mm. And yes, no, Hina did recognize Miyu's skill. Miyu is some next level. 
Fox 4, come in. Fox 4. What's up? I'm just chilling. You told me to hold my fire, didn't you? I had to confirm. For a second there, I thought... Oh? Uh, oh. What was it you said again? Oh, yeah. If you're going to point that gun at someone, you had better be ready to shoot it. <laughs> Let's go! Using the distraction to close ground! Fantastic! Fantastic! Causing her to doubt her own her own memories of what was going on. Let's go, let's go. Looks like Fox Squad's bonds aren't all that they're chalked up to be, huh? <laughs> let's go! Fox 3 is down. Karumi tries too hard to look good in front of the rabbits. It always backfires. Uh, well, guess I'm on cleanup duty then. Decoy drone deployed. ECCM prep check. No snipers sneaking up on this girl. Now then, where's that crazy little point woman? Hmm, I haven't seen or heard anything about Rabbit's sniper in a while. <laughs> well, 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 that probably isn't good, is it, Otogi? Well, I I'm actually right here. <laughs> what? Whoa, 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 what the? Since when? How? I, I actually came up here to find a spot, too. But then I got here, and you were here first. I was trying to figure out how to tell you I was here, but you, you seemed really focused. <laughs> It'd be one thing if you snuck your way over here somehow, but you... You were just standing behind me? And I... I didn't notice you? Uh, are you a ghost? Do you need someone to fulfill your last wish so you can move on or something? I... I kind of fade into the background a lot. I'm... I'm sure one day even my squad mates won't notice if I'm there or not. They actually did once in the middle of a mission. But, well, sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes it lets me be useful to my squad mates. <laughs> like this. I I'm really sorry. <laughs> Hold on, let's talk about this. Fox three and Fox four are down. I didn't expect them to put up this much of a fight. Taking the central elevator controls offline was the right call. I can't get a signal. Did, did she turn the dang thing off? <laughs> Looks like it's out of service. After all, a good operation plan expects the unexpected. N Nico, y you're behind this, aren't you? You can sneak your way past any security system if you have the time to do it. I figured the best defense would be to stop you before you could even try. <laughs> That's just <sighs> crafty. It's the only way down to the operations room, and you can't hack your way in for once. What'll you do, Moe? The longer you dilly-dally here, the closer and closer Kaiser reinforcements get. In other words, it's time for my darling underclassmen to go home. I wouldn't be too sure about that, Nico. <laughs> so you're saying it's a no-go electronically? <laughs> You're not crafty enough, Miko. You tunnel visioned on my computer skills and forgot the rest of my file. <laughs> you can bluff all you want, Moe. There's no way for you to get through. Bust 
bursting through a stubborn door, forcing its reinforced material to bend to my will, gives me a thrill just thinking about it. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking, but the doors are fully electronic. There's no way you can punch through it with the power offline. <laughs> than just the door. It'll hit everything and everyone around it. Meh, my team's tough. They'll deal. You, you have to be bluffing. There's no way you would take such a risky maneuver in that space. That, that's the most illogical. <laughs> and just like that, she blew everything up. Dynamite! That overshot opening the door by a bit. Obliterated may be a better way to say it. I did give her free reign, so I guess I should have seen that coming. Well, if we're surprised, imagine how the Fox Squad probably feels right now. I guess Moe's utter need for chaos and destruction can have its benefits. Are you really sassing the one who just single-handedly saved this mission? <laughs> I meant it in a good way, all right. <laughs> Seriously, good one. You pulled through too, Rabbit 2. Elevator's clear. I'm rappelling down to the control room. Repelling. Repelling, I think is how that's pronounced. I'm repelling down? Rappelling? I think it's repelling. I'm repelling down to the control room. Secure yourself to the cable and follow me. Let's go. Going in. Good work, Rabbit Squad. I'm so proud of them. Oh my god, I'm so proud of them. Let's go deeper into Caravanog's cave. Oh, the Rabbit Squad has come so far. They're leaning on their own strengths. I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of them. Oh. Rapple. That's the thing. I know that rapple is pronounced. Okay. Rappling. Alrighty. In we go. Oh god. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Oh my god. You're right. Dorchan was avenged. A tooth for a tooth. Kaboom for a kaboom. Your door coon is no more. <laughs> this is payment for blowing up our door, Fox Squad. We've come to repay the favor. <laughs> Fox. Fox three. Um, the rabbits have passed point Lima. I'm sorry. Fox four, same. But in my defense, the Miyu girl defies common sense here. Out sniper support. Fox two. The rabbits have breached the elevator and are repelling to point Oscar. They melted through our plans. We need to regroup. Copy. <laughs> well, 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 Yukino. Well, well, well. Fox 1 will defend the front line alone. Fox 2, regroup with the other squad members and secure our retreat. Fox 2, come in. Fox 2, Fox squad, answer. <sighs> I'm cut off. It must have been from the explosion earlier. <sighs> At least this way, I can keep some secrets. Oh no. Well, let's go greet my precious juniors. Oh God. 
I don't like this. Yukino. Yukino. Rabbit one arrived at the destination. How are you doing, Sensei? Uh, well, <laughs> um, besides having to be uh, carried down here with you all, um, I'm all good. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be uh, out of shape and somewhat useless here. No injuries. Good. A rabbit too arrived at the destination. Is the control room straight ahead? Yep, just keep going down and you'll hit it. Yukino isn't going to just let us waltz in. Don't let your guard down. Check your gear and then... Oh no. No, 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 no. Very good work, squad leader Sticky Yuki. Yukino. I'm sure you're aware of the current circumstances. Let's not drag this out any longer. We've won, so please surrender quietly. Your inexperience is showing. The moment we entered the silo before you did, the result was already decided. What are you saying? This is the remote detonator for the Antioch warhead. The moment you enter the control room, I'll trigger the explosion. Yeah, yeah that's bad! Every one of us here will die, but the Fox Squad will have completed its mission. What? Why? Why would you willingly sign your own death warrant? Weapons don't have souls. Lives. Those things are insignificant. I am SRT. I will complete my mission. That is my purpose. Good God. Yukino has gone too deep. She has gone from being like justice and protecting truth and protecting the people is the point of SRT to SRT is just her identity. That's all that she has now. SRT, ultimately, the ends justify the means as long as SRT gets to continue surviving. You have lost the point of your entire organization. It was already questionable to begin with. You had some really incredible extrajudicial power that was maybe somewhat questionably used, but like, Yukino, SRT is not the end result. You can't, you can't do this. I'll grant you one last mercy. As a fellow SRT student, leave now. Good God. Sensei, you don't want to give up, do you? You're right. Because we're SRT too. We'll do whatever it takes to complete our mission. I'm right by your side, Miyako. Did you seriously believe we'd chicken out at a feeble threat like that? If anyone's going to push that button, it's going to be me. <laughs> Moe, you have no chill. We'll fight for the SRT we believe in. Units cover all sides. Rabbit Squad. Breach the control room. <sighs> okay. Okay, y'all. It's time to breach the control room. Okay. Let's go. I'm actually, I'm gonna have a skip through this one because we're just, we're getting through. This one, we're just fighting robots. We're clearing through the robots. We're getting through it. We've got more important fish to fry. We're crushing the robots quickly. We're getting to the end here. Okay. Next. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know why Saki is a special and not a striker. <laughs> At least with the swimsuit version, they changed that up. Okay. Okay. Okay, y'all. 
Are you all ready? <laughs> Are you all ready for this? <laughs> Let's hop into this. Okay. And just to confirm, that was just Kerbinog's Cave 2 that we just did, right? Yes, yes. So we're on yesterday and tomorrow now. All right, y'all. Let's do it. We're ready. Aye, aye. We, we ballin' now. Let's do it. Oh, God. Warning, warning. Security system offline. Security manager, seal partitions and secure classified documents. Intruder has not been apprehended. Why am I still here? I only followed my orders to bring back SRT Academy. What am I doing here? Holding a detonator. What are you doing here, Yukino? Transitioning to status level Z. Security manager, seal partitions, and secure classified documents. No need to overanalyze this. I just have to sort what's necessary for the mission and throw out everything else. Like I always do. The mission's objective is to trigger this warhead. You, Kino. Kept you waiting, huh? No! Oh, it's the Fox Squad! Oh, they've come back. I thought it was the Rabbit Squad. Oh no, the Fox Squad has come back! <gasps> Fox 4? What are you doing here? I got held up trying to evade our underclassmen via the ventilation system. It seems like Sector W isn't sealed even during an emergency. <laughs> I'm still hurting. Did you see Saki? She shot me five times after I was down. I taught her to always make sure your opponent is neutralized, but that's a bit excessive. She had to ensure her squad wouldn't get shot in the back by her carelessness. Saki did her job as a front woman. Oh my God, they're just fully committed to digging their own graves. They're already in this deep. Might as well go the full mile. No! Why? Why didn't you retreat? Huh? Because our squad leader is still here. I ordered you to return to the surface if the enemy breaches our defenses. It was painfully obvious you were going to blow yourself and everything else up as soon as we left. The complete disregard for your own life? Yukino. It had nothing to do with the success of the mission. There was no need for you to... Of course there was a need! We need you! Not because you're our leader, but because you're our friend! Oh good, they didn't come back to all go down together. They're here to be like, no, don't detonate the warhead while you're still here. Okay, that's good. Good, good, Fox Squad. A, a small amount of sense, at least. And friends should shoulder things together. Every bad thing you've done, Yukino, we've done right alongside you. So we're going to face every consequence right by your side, too. That's not the way a Special Forces veteran should be speaking. I'm the one who makes the final call for the squad every time. So responsibility for our actions falls on me as well. Yukino, I never liked this operation much. And we've done awful things in the name of bringing back the SRT Academy. I'm ashamed at how much we've compromised SRT's justice for our own goal. I. 
None of us would be able to stand adding the shame of letting our squad leader sacrifice herself for a mission we all took together. But I also know that we've gone too far to stop now. We can't let our underclassmen shoulder this responsibility either. No, no, this is the sunk cost fallacy. No, 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 just because you've spent all this time doing this, you can back down. Oh my God, it's not too late. You, you can still stop. You, because, just because you've put in so much time, oh my god, you don't need to detonate this. <laughs> you can still stop! We'll bear the cross of the dishonor we've brought to SRT and finish this, so we can send those rabbits back to their rightful home. That's true, they don't believe they deserve a chance. God, it's horrible! I get it. Oh, God! This is all. For the rebirth of the SRT Academy. Oh, boy! Okay, y'all. Are you ready? It's time. It's time! Oh, God, it's time! Okay. It's, it's time to roll. Let's do this. Let's go. Yukino! No more! No more of this! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh my god! Okay, we're focus firing. Uh, let's... Hold on, let's take down you first. Okay. Focus fire. Okay. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Take her down, take her down, take her down. All right. Launch this. Launch this. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. Take her down, take her down. We got to pick them off one by one. Perfect. Okay. Good, 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 good. Uh, take out our sniper in the back. Okay. Good, 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 good. We got to focus on this back here. Okay. Can't hit that. That's okay. We're gonna hit everyone with Moe. Taking down Otogi. Yeah, we're focus firing on Otogi. Okay, take him down. Good job, good job, Moe, good job. Okay, now, uh, let's go Saki, get the two of them. We're gonna start filling up that CC gauge. Yeah, because she's got a stun gauge. So we're gonna go fill that up, but we gotta take her down first. Good, okay, let's fill up that CC gauge. Okay, uh, let's get one more shot in real quick. And then we should be able to start laying into her. Perfect. Okay, okay, do it. Enter, enter, enter. Get her. Perfect. Okay, go, 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 go. Everyone, go, 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 go. Get her, get her, get her, get her, get her. Okay, let's go. Emuchan is doing so good. I'm so proud of Emuchan. <laughs> ah, let's go! Uh, the shockwave. The detonator. I got it! I got the detonator! I secured it! <laughs> Sensei, let's go! I'm so proud of myself! Let's go! Swoop in at the last second. I secured the detonator! Great job, Sensei! Don't lose focus on the battlefield, Tsukiyuki. I'm right here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, Miyako! You're always full of openings. If I were grading you, that would have been a fail. Luckily, you don't get to test me in real life. You're the one who taught me how different reality is from our books. 
And I've learned that in reality, justice will win as long as you have the resolve to fight for it. Justice will win. <laughs> resolve. Sometimes it feels as if you're willfully refusing to grow up. If reality played by your idealistic little rules, we wouldn't be here in the first place. Let me teach you your next lesson then. Reality has a habit of destroying people's dreams. Foxtrot. That sounds like a flashbang. Gotcha! Snap! <gasps> Miyako! You're right about one thing. By headbutting instead of using my hands, I sped up my response time by half a second. <gasps> Miyako! Yes! 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 She headbutted Yukino! <laughs> Literally trying to get it into her skull that this is ridiculous. Fantastic. I love that they have used the things that the Fox Squad taught them as like, oh, you should be doing this in battle, and they turned it against them. Oh, that's fantastic, Miyako. Good work. I'm so proud of you. Stand down, Fox One. <sighs> For someone who usually does exactly as she's told, why did you stop listening to me? What do you mean? I told you, I would trigger the warhead if you set foot in the control room. I wasn't bluffing. I was fully prepared to give my life for this mission. So why? Why did you press on without a second thought? It never even crossed my mind that you'd really risk all our lives like that. You told me before that all of this, the crimes, the suffering, was for the future students of SRT. Someone that invested in tomorrow just didn't seem like she would let the people who look up to her most die. I showed you the world's harsh truths. I drilled into you that it's better to play dirty and win than play fair and lose. And still, you trust me? You once said something else. Oh. That no matter the obstacle, SRT's justice never wavers. Even if it starts to dim under the world's darkness, it'll always shine through at the end. It was your beliefs that gave me the strength to stand up on to stand up for my own. It was our dream to be like the Fox Squad. Why would we ever have walked down such a treacherous path if we didn't believe in the future it led to? So don't walk out on us now. Oh, Miyako is crying! No! I've just barely been keeping it together over here. No! Look at how sad she is. Oh, Miyako broken pedestal moment indeed. Someone you look up to so much just uh, doing something so horrible. And being willing to take herself and so many people out. We've strayed from our path. We were given immense power, but lacked guidance. After the General Student Council president vanished, we, we searched for direction. Someone else who could shoulder our responsibilities. But we didn't find someone like that. Instead of relinquishing the power like we should have, we clung to it. Desperate. And now, at the end of the road, I'm faced with a ghost from the past. 
How ironic. Squad leader Tsukiyuki, this warhead needs to go off. It's time I close this chapter and face the consequences of my actions. So please, just get out of here. Yuki, no! No. No, 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 no. Yuki, no, it's hard to take responsibility. I can understand that. But what you're doing right now is running away from it. You're just trying to follow this path because you think there's nothing else you can do. I can't let you do that. Yumi Sensei, it might be hard for you to relate. You've always balanced power with responsibility so well. But if you were in our shoes, what would you do? I'd go to sleep, and then tomorrow would come. You can make different decisions then. You don't just have to keep following the same path. You don't have to blow up part of this town. Tomorrow? How would that make a difference? History would just repeat itself. Obsolete weapons should be scrapped, not saved for the next day. But you're not a tool, Yukino. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You've never been a tool. The great thing about people is they can always do better next time. You're not giving yourself a second chance. But you do, you do have a chance here not to blow up this town. This sunk cost fallacy, this idea that you're too deep now to stop, that's ridiculous. You're a person, not a weapon. A next time, after everything we've done, is there even a remote possibility of a second chance? Always. There's always a chance. If I know anything about uh, the students of this city, I will give you infinite chances. If you don't know something, you learn about it. If you feel stuck, you ask for help getting out of it. If you're struggling, you lean on those around you until you become an adult and can take full responsibility. The people around you will help shoulder it. So lean on me, let me help you. Don't continue down this path. We can figure this out together. Until I do. We still have a lot of growing up to do, don't we? Ugh, Saki got me again. That was definitely on purpose. That's why I told you to add another layer of ballistic plating on your chest. But it's hard to breathe with that extra layer, especially in combat. Not like there's much there to protect anyway. <gasps> oh, Togi! No, don't be like that. <laughs> That's such a toxic, awful thing. I hate it when people do this. That's so, so terrible. Otogi, don't be like that. Come on now. Come on now. Oh my God. There's no reason for that. Uncalled for. <laughs> oh my God. Ridiculous. Sh shut up. <laughs> so, you failed, Fox One. I did. Is Sensei as weird as they say? As weird as they come. But I think with an adult like Sensei around, we might be okay. Oh. Oh, they're 
surrendering. Look at them. <laughs> oh, look at Nico's face. Oh, that's the most relaxed I've ever seen Yuki now look. Oh, this is our loss. Squad leader Tsuki Yuki. Fox Squad is officially waving the white flag. We're putting our faith in you. Oh, God. Prove to us we didn't make the wrong decision in choosing tomorrow. Oh, God. Oh, next chapter has failed, Koo. Ah, this story, y'all. Good God. Okay. Are you all ready? It's time to make this coup a failure. Save Rinny. Make sure that the city is not under Kaya's control anymore. <sighs> Let's go. Yeah, no, happy Yumi is back. I'm gonna have to sniffle here in a second. <laughs> Hold on. <sighs> okay, we're all right. Uh, things are looking up. Things are looking up. Ah, nothing like the aroma of Esmeralda coffee after a late brunch. It's almost a shame to use such rare, decadent beans, but for today, celebration calls for some luxuries. Let's see, we should be getting reports about the explosion at Kurosagi Station uh, sometime soon. <sighs> Kaya. Yes, this is the acting general student council president, Shira Nui Kaya. Ah, general, I was waiting for your call. Everything squared away at Kosagi Station. What? What do you mean the Fox Squad failed? And now the rabbit squad is fully armed and heading to the council building with Shale's sensei. Slow down, general. What do you mean the SRT members rolled over you guys? Sensei was helping them? Well, 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 Kaya. We paid you a premium, damn it. Why can't anyone do their jobs? Well, 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 Kaya, if it isn't everything crumbling around you. This is Rabbit 1, just arrived at the northbound arterial line. Rabbit 2, area's been scouted, all clear. This is Rabbit 3. I reported the incident to the Highlander Railroad Academy and they've closed off all lines. <gasps> the Highlander Railroad Academy? <gasps> Name drop? Ooh, ooh, ooh! Exciting! Good work, Moe. Good work. You're clear for the next hour, so keep pushing forward. Copy. Rabbit 2, Rabbit 4. Speed is of the essence here. The target will try to escape, so we need to get to the General Student Council ASAP. Uh, all right. Let's go. The infamous foxes were hunted by their prey. Oh, General, haven't you heard the tale of the rabbit of Carbonog? Clearly, you should have expected this. Pathetic. To think a premier squad could be beaten by some greenhorns. Mmm. Trying to have a last resistance, are we, Kaiser? Thank heavens I positioned the Kaiser Special Ops here as a backup. They were our ace against those foxes, but <laughs> I bet they can handle the rabbits just as well. I never make the same mistake twice. I have backup plans X, Y, and Z, so do your worst, Sensei. Yeah, we've beaten soap before. I think we can do just fine. <laughs> do it, let's go, Rabbit Squad. Tango down. Good job. Keep up the pace. 
Let's go. Let's go. I I'm sorry. Oh, me, you. It's okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. We're in a rush. <laughs> Just a drive by. Oh, man. Oh, oh, what the? You think you've won SRT. This isn't over. Hmm. Isn't it, though? I think it's over for you, Kaiser. Mmm, well, well, well. We're back in Abydos. Time to take them down. Oh, they think, they think they stand a chance. They think they stand a chance. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, would you look at this? Mmm, let's go. Take him down, Moe. <laughs> Good work. Good work, Moe. Hmm, <laughs> well, well, well. What is it here? What, what do we have here? Let's let's take this down. Hmm. Look at how strong our rabbit girls are. I'm so proud of them. Oh, God. Wonderful. Can I hit the dude in the back? No, they're slightly out of range. That's okay. We'll just do this. Boom! Okay, taking them down. Good work. Good work, Rabbit Squad! Fire! <laughs> Let's go! Oh, I'm so proud of them. They've come so far. <sighs> Listen up! We have terrorists en route to the General Student Council building. I need reinforcements from the Public Peace Bureau, Security Bureau, anything, anywhere you can spare them. Hmm. Oh no, is no one coming to help you, Kaya? Most of the students of the Public Peace Bureau are on probation, and the Security Bureau is mostly empty due to the new orders? <laughs> Fine! Send some people from the Public Safety Bureau. We need bodies out here now! If you don't send backup, I swear I'll personally make sure that the Valkyrie Police School is removed! Hmm. Will you now, Kaya? Will you do this? <laughs> SRT, everyone drop your weapons and step back. This is Rabbit One. We've detained the suspect, identified as Shiranui Kaya. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Miyako! <laughs> Shiranui Kaya, we have evidence pointing to your involvement in the conspiracy to destroy Kurusagi Station. You have been accused of conspiring to commit acts of terror upon the citizens, selling confidential council data to a private corporation, bribing executives with authority and money, and abusing the office of acting president for personal gain. Preach, Miyako. Preach! Let's go! <laughs> Can't spell Kaya without an L. <laughs> the new way to spell Kaya. Kyle. <laughs> All accusations fall under exceptions to the acting president's immunity to arrest. In the name of SRT Academy, you are under arrest for rebellion, dereliction of duty, Abuse of authority and bribery. Well, well, well. Mm. What do you have to say to this, Kyle? How dare you? Some SRT rookies arresting me, the chief of defense and the acting general student council president. Situations like these are exactly what SRT is for. The jig is up, Kaya. It's time to face the music. Yumi sensei, can we uh, talk privately? Maybe my previous offer was um inadequate. In hindsight, perhaps it was presumptuous to try and uh, manage someone of your stature who's already done so much in keeping, keeping Kivotos running. I'm sincerely sorry. We can pretend that never happened. In exchange, you'll have my full support. <laughs> Resources, manpower, whatever Chalet needs. 
If required, I'll personally visit Shali and assist you in any way. Oh, are you are you gonna help me with my paperwork just like Rin used to do? I've heard that you're struggling with paperwork recently, Kaya. Mmm. I don't know that you can help me the way that Rin used to help me when I screwed up my expense reports. <laughs> Hmm. But yeah, no, I don't I don't think that's going to work, Kaya. Just tell me what you need. Kaya repairing our door. Attempting offer indeed. <laughs> Kaya. Y yes? Your apologies shouldn't be directed at me. It's the students you've wronged who deserve your remorse. <laughs> Right. I'll I'll do whatever you say. <laughs> uh, just tell me who to start with, uh, Officer Rin. You're missing the point. Oh well, well. Well, well, well. Acting President, are you all right? Heine. Please leave. We need we need to have a discussion with you too. Uh, athletic director, thank goodness. I knew I could count on my allies to have my back. Wait. Oh, why is Sensei with those SRT freshmen? I don't know how they've brainwashed you, Sensei, but they're not worth your trust. Heine, we need to have a uh, discussion after this about your actions. <laughs> They are swindlers that only care about money. They took bribes from Chief Officer Rin to discredit and spread rumors about Kaya. Oh, Heine. Heine, my girl. What has Kaya been telling you? Exactly. Officer Rin is the real puppet master here. She's always tried to undermine me. Her with her stupid, ample assets. Kaya, I understand you're in a difficult position now, but really, why is everyone so held up on this? I think we need to sit down and have a discussion. I think y'all don't need to be so, so concerned about this. <laughs> Kaya, your ego, it doesn't, it doesn't need to take such a hit like this. Seriously? That's your issue with her? No, she also wanted to have power too, but I guess she's bitter about that on top of everything else. Your jealousy boiled down to that? You know, it kind of made sense. I thought there was something about it that felt personal. Yeah, Kaya is a deeply petty person. <laughs> what, what are you trying to say, Four Eyes? Miyako, play the recording that Fox Squad gave us. On it. Mmm, a recording, you say. Well, well, well. Nice work, squad leader Yukino. This mission should shift the climate with the General Student Council. There might be some negative backlash towards SRT at first, but <laughs> pay it no mind. Once I'm acting president, no one will dare criticize you. The athletic director is injured? <laughs> oh, you mean that klutz? She's always just running around causing trouble for everyone. Small price to pay, really. Nothing to worry about. Oof. That's no good. <laughs> what did I just hear? Didn't you claim to know nothing about the Fox Squad's plans, Chief Kaya? Uh, <laughs> well, um, that's, uh, well. A permanent Kibotos field day? What other idiotic plans are going to come out of her mouth? After this is done, I'm overhauling the athletics department and putting it under the purview of the culture office. Yes, secretary. How can I assist? We are short on onigiri for the meeting. <laughs> Look, not my problem. Handle it. Kaya is such a deeply petty, 
petty person. Oh my god. This woman. Oh my god. This, um, this can be explained. Can it, Kaya? I cannot believe how colossally bad you are at this. You petty, deeply dysfunctional person. It's, uh, <laughs> it's all a setup. <laughs> Clearly another one of Officer Rin's schemes. To think you viewed me so lowly. Uh, the gate ball tourney was really hard for me, especially after injuring my arm in that ambush. Yeah, I don't need an acting anything who spits on athletics. <laughs> Impeach her. Well, 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 well. Everything is falling apart. <laughs> A failed coup indeed. Indeed. <laughs> oh, God, yes. Impeach her. Impeach her now. Oh, Q unwelcome school indeed. <laughs> oh, let's go. Impeach her. Take her down. Good evening. It's Kazumaki Mai from Kronos Journalism Academy. Today, on Kazumaki's Current Events, we're discussing the shakeup in the General Student Council President's office and the dastardly plot to nuke Kousagi Station. As you all well know, Chief Officer Nanagami Rin was recently ousted by Defense Chief Chiranui Kaya as the Acting General Student Council President in a shocking coup that turned Kivotos on its head. She didn't stay for long, however. The public's distaste grew as she implemented harsh rules and even harsher regulations. It all exploded into her eventual impeachment when it was revealed that she was the one behind the Kousagi Station terror plot. Imagine the entire world shock. To make matters worse, further digging implicated Kaiser Security, a branch of Kaiser Corporation, it seemed they accepted hefty bribes from Kaya, putting the corporation back in the hot seat. Yet, Kaiser Group claims it's the rogue act of a single executive and has nothing to do with the company. They strongly denounced this executive's behavior. God damn it! Not again! Kaiser! You cannot keep getting away with this! They can't keep the They can't keep getting away with this! Oh my god, they're just gonna be like, <laughs> no, uh, it was Kaiser Security and uh, our, um, our general in charge of that. <laughs> uh, we'll just uh, shuffle around some of our executives a bit and then we'll deal with it from there. God, Kaiser, I swear, we're gonna put an end to your schemes at some point. God damn it. Rinny 2024 indeed. <laughs> Bring Rinny back, I demand it. Bring Rinny back. Bring Rinny back. But even with the scope of this controversy, bl uh, this controversy ballooning every day, it's been absolute crickets from the general student council. Can the public trust this council at all anymore? Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think their reputation is too good right now. Joining me today to discuss this very serious topic further is our expert in current affairs, Descartes. Hello, I'm Descartes, leading expert on current events and head of the Pursuers of Non-Possessive Happiness, or the Pursuers for short. Hello and welcome, Descartes. It seems like you lead quite the eccentric group. Oh, are you interested in joining? We and the Pursuers of Non-Possessive Happiness, or Pursuers, are... <laughs> Well, we'd love to hear more about that another time. Today, we have a much more pressing issue. We've invited you here today so we can ask you about the various issues surrounding the General Student Council. <sighs> I'm sorry, Descartes, you don't get to um, talk about your definitely not pyramid scheme here. <laughs> First question. Chief of Staff Kaya has been adamantly denying all allegations of abusing the office for personal gain since her arrest. 
In fact, while she was being transported to the Corrections Bureau, she claimed, when a real superhuman appears, you ignorant masses will finally understand. Just who or what is the superhuman that she mentioned? Shale's sensei? Or perhaps the previous general student council president? If not, do you think there was another meaning to what she was saying? Of course not. If there was really some superhuman that could control the council and everyone else, Kaya never would have fallen to such shady dealings to get what she wanted. It's nothing more than the mad rantings of a loser. I wouldn't give her words any meaning. Honestly? Not a bad perspective. <laughs> not a bad perspective. I, I see. Next question then. When Principal Kaya was arrested, there were sightings of students in unfamiliar uniforms being detained and escorted away. Despite questions and rumors flying, nothing has been confirmed about the identity of these students. Some gossip even suggests they might be from the disbanded SRT Academy. That's utter nonsense! <laughs> well, why do you say that? The SRT Academy students are the ones who bravely fought alongside the oppressed as we rose up against Kaiser's corruption. It's absurd to think that these courageous pupils would be associated with such a scandal. While I can't disclose my informants, I can confidently state that these rumors about them being from the SRT Academy are totally baseless. <laughs> That's actually kind of great. He only knows them from living in the park. He just... <laughs> Wrong squad! Wrong SRT squad, Descartes! <laughs> Look how he's like, what? No, 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 they're not SRT! That's ridiculous! <laughs> the rabbit squad isn't from SRT! I can bet my expired Yakiniku Bento on that. If you bent something- if you bet something so gross, it seems like you're not confident at all. <laughs> at least she didn't say that out loud. That's good, bye. We might have to pass on that one. <laughs> and uh, for our last question, what was Chief Kaya's motive for summoning Shale's sensei during her public address? Oh my God, that's true. He just indirectly saved the Fox Squad's reputation. <laughs> oh God. I still think there's gonna be consequences for them though, because they did attack the general student council. Um, but you know. Given that it was via a public broadcast, it's evident that Defense Chief Kaya had no intentions of concealing her association with the teacher. Was her aim to exert control over Shale and increase her influence over Kivotos? That actually sounds pretty right. Ah, that one's simple. What Chief Kaya sought from Sensei was likely the expired bentos that were taken from Shale's store. Yes, Descartes, definitely. It's not that she didn't want to exert power through Shale. <laughs> it was definitely the expired bentos, for sure. <laughs> expired bentos? Correct. Given the low foot traffic at that store, leftovers are inevitable. Any observer would be tempted by the sight of piles and piles of expired bentos. That is exactly why bentos delivers, uh, bento deliveries to Shale's convenience store were blocked during Kaya's reign. The bento negotiations must have fallen through. <laughs> also, don't worry, y'all. Um, we're definitely going to hit the reset in the middle of this chapter, um, and I can just like get us caught back up to where we were while the reset's happening. So no worries. The reset will happen, but we'll deal with it. <laughs> so no worries. We'll be fine. It'll it'll show up on screen during this. We'll deal with it and then we'll move on from there. <laughs> oh man. I can't believe it's it's been almost four hours. It's wild. I do love that this is his reasoning for why the why the bentos were blocked. <laughs> Oh God! Thank you all for reminding me though that the, the reset was coming up. I really appreciate it. I just don't want y'all to worry. It's gonna happen. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for reminding me about it. I appreciate it. But folks, fret not. You can still get your hands on those lunches without any dealings from the general student council. 
By joining the pursuers, you'll get a complimentary chicken bone karage and a mung bean sprout bento. <laughs> uh, sorry, folks. Looks like a technical hiccup. We'll be back shortly. <laughs> what are you doing with me? How dare you treat me like this? I will sue! Hmm, I don't know about that, Descartes. <laughs> Sorry, folks. It appears our current affairs expert, Descartes, had pressing matters elsewhere. The rest of today's Kazumaki Mai's analysis of current events will be replaced with my squiddy sensei. What? My squiddy sensei? <laughs> what? Why have you named it that? Do, do you all know that I like squid? What? Oh, why Why have you named it this? <laughs> what? That, okay. Um, what? Stay tuned, folks. Okay. Where in the world did Shinon find that guy? That's a good question. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Takodachi Sensei confirmed. <laughs> Fox Squad is at the Corrections Bureau. It's probably for the best. They did um, assist in the coup. They uh, attacked the General Student Council. Um, and they're going to be spending some time in Valkyrie's prisons, it looks like. But it's okay. Um, when they get out, um, that's that's part of the whole thing is is they'll they'll serve their time. They'll come out and then, I don't know, we'll, we'll have a better path forward for them. You know, life here isn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. It isn't too different from the SRT Academy. A routine wake up, exercising, and strict schedules. You know, that's kind of damning of SRT though. That you're like, ah, oh, yes, being in a prison is very similar to SRT. <laughs> the only shortfall might be the absence of Inari Zushi during meals. Uh, just last night, I had a dream about a piping hot Inari Zushi. Oh, maybe I can bring you some. They probably won't be as good as yours, but I can try, Nico. Prisoner 5021, you have a special meal. Oh? A special meal? What do you mean? A gift from some anonymous sender. Must be someone pretty high up in the ranks. And they left you a letter, too. Oh? Strange. No one outside would send me a letter. Miyako? <gasps> Miyako! Oh! <laughs> it was a delivery from Sensei and Miyako Eats. <laughs> Oh, 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 at 0400. Rabbit Squad leader Tsukiyuki Miyako. A little late, but reporting. Life in Kosagi Park has returned to normal. Rabbit Squad is operational with no injuries or exceptions. This sounds incredibly formal, doesn't it? This isn't how I wanted to talk to you. <laughs> Hi, it's Miyako. We've been back at Kosagi Park since the operation ended. The squad members and I debated for a little bit about what we should do, but at the end of the day, this park is our home now. Oh, let's go! The only academy that holds our ideals of justice is the SRT Academy. So we'll stay here, and we'll continue fighting for SRT the best we can. Following Kaya's arrest, Administrator Rin reassumed the position of Acting General Student Council President. Kaya's harsh orders were all withdrawn, and things are finally starting to feel normal in the DU again. Rinny is back! Let's go, Rinny! Let's go! 
Administrator Rin has a lot of goodwill to ride on right now, so things are relatively quiet. Although, for some reason, it seems like there's never any end to conflict and problems in Kibotos. <laughs> I'm sure Rin and the rest of them are going to be very, very busy for the next couple of months. Let's go! The reset didn't happen. It's prioritizing me finishing the story. I'm actually really impressed. I thought it was gonna boot us. All right, let's go. We've kept your involvement with Kaya's crimes under wraps. Only the General Student Council knows. Admitting the General Student Council sought SRT Academy's help, the same academy they closed would have been tricky. So they've been cooperating. Mmm, twisting, twisting their arm, are you, Miyako? Excellent, excellent, good work, good, good work. And we didn't want to be the one to tell the world. I felt like you should, when you're ready. Director Kana was officially credited for returning peace to Kivotos. <gasps> oh, Kana! Oh, some redemption, oh my god. Oh, that's great! Don't squander this, Kana. I believe in you. She and the Public Peace Bureau students resumed duties quicker than anticipated because of that. I was happy to see her dedication to what she thought was right was rewarded in the end. Oh! I heard Kirino from the Public Safety Bureau was offered a spot in the Public Peace Bureau for her role in this. But she surprisingly declined. <gasps> Ki Kirino? I'm so surprised! You wanted to join the big leagues in your mind? What changed your mind? A battlefield epiphany, maybe. <laughs> yes! Yes! Miyako! Oh, the influence that she had that's so good! Kirino! I'm so happy for you! Oh. As for the Rabbit Squad, we've finally been granted official permission from the General Student Council to stay in Kozagi Park. It was a simpler decision for the council, since Kozagi Town obviously isn't being developed anymore. It's been really nice. We can even meet with the Valkyrie students and move more freely now. Life in the park definitely wasn't the easiest option. Yumi Sensei has been pretty instrumental in helping make it work, though. Oh, let's go! Ugh, I haven't gotten a chance to actually shower like that in so long. Thanks for letting us use Shally's facilities, Sensei. <gasps> oh, oh, they actually trust. Oh, because they were so they they didn't want to trust anything we had to say when we first offered to help them. But now they're actually willing to come and use Shali's facilities. Good, good. Oh, that's fantastic. They're actually relying on us for help. The barrel baths can be fun and all, but sometimes it's a huge chore when you just want to relax. Anytime, like I said, feel free to use it whenever. <laughs> y'all were right as soon as I clicked on something. <laughs> okay, give me a second, y'all. I'm going to take us to the Be Right Back screen. I'll get us uh, right back to this exact part, and then we'll finish up the story. <laughs> Hang out with Chibi Noka for a minute. I'll be back. Oh yes, it's a hydration break. Everyone, everyone go get yourself some water and drinks. <laughs> Perfect opportunity. We'll be back in just a moment for the end of our story. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be making some polls. Who knows?
Don't forget, y'all. I, I not only have to do the reset, but I have to get us back to where we were in the story. <laughs> It'll take me just a second. I'm almost there. I'm speeding through the story to get to where we were. Yes, the frantic clicking intensifies. <laughs> I'm almost there. I'm so close. All right, Miyako, writing a letter. Almost there. <laughs> Yumi is literally the hacker guy meme. Also, thank you all for the gifted memberships. That was extremely kind. Good God. Good God, you people. You're very kind. Okay, almost there. Give me like one minute. <laughs> <laughs> I have returned. <laughs> Thank you all for waiting. <laughs> that was a lot of clicking I had to get through, but we're here. We've done it. Like I've said, Moe, please feel free <laughs> to use it whenever. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, too funny. Oh. <laughs> Since we're discussing hospitality, let me raid the fridge then. Oi! Moe! <sighs> That's fine. Have whatever you want. Well, I'll just take it out of Shali's budget. <laughs> it's fine. <sighs> A sensei, I brought the ballistics analysis from the scene you asked for. <laughs> Moe? Why do you look like that? No way. No way you snuck over here and used Shale's showers by yourself. <laughs> the truth comes out. Saki, it's okay. You all can use the facilities. I'm not trying to... <laughs> oh, no. No, no. <laughs> the betrayal. Um... <laughs> My tent's fan failed. I, uh... Got really sweaty yesterday, so you came and showered without us, you traitor. <laughs> uh, Saki, I think maybe this is a bad uh, moment to jump in, but I do want to point out that the shampoo that you wanted, uh, it, it just arrived. You can take a shower here too if you want. Really? Thanks. Ugh. Hang on. You've been showering here too? <laughs> Who's the traitor now, huh? Ah! <laughs> uh, I mean, um, I get really sweaty under my helmet sometimes. I was on chalet duty. What was I supposed to do? And I only washed my hair. I didn't use the whole thing, unlike somebody I know. It doesn't matter how much of a shower you used. Using half of it is still using it. <laughs> Good morning, Sensei. Can I use the shower? It was really hot during morning patrols today. <laughs> huh? S Saki? Moe? <laughs> Miyako? <laughs> well, um, it might take a little bit of time to adapt. But with Yumi Sensei on our side, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> we had to get a little creative to comply with the Correction Bureau's regulations, but we prepared a small meal for you. It's not Nico's homemade cooking, but a store bought Inari Zushi is the best that we could do. That concludes my report. I hope you're well. True, Miyu. Even though we didn't see Miyu, I I think <laughs> I think you're right that Miyu was just in the room the whole time. 
we we know that Miyu blends in, right? Even if we don't see her, she's there. She's definitely there. <laughs> Miyu is just standing behind them menacingly. <laughs> exactly. Miyu is, is definitely there with them. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that Miyako sent this to Nico. That's so nice. Tsukiyuki Miyako, rabbit squad leader. I finally get a gift from my adorable underclassmen, and it's a bento from a convenience store. <laughs> I guess that's classic Miyako, though. Ah! I'm glad to hear that they're doing well. Oh god, what was that? I just finished my morning run. Same, but I think my stamina is already decreasing. That took a lot out of me. <laughs> the rest of the Fox Squad is rolling in. Hold up, is that Inari Zushi? <laughs> the smell, it's divine. I, I might cry. Uh, are we, it, is it, is it poisoned? Of course not, it was a gift. Call over the others and we'll share it. You know, that's true. It was the big jail cell door opening and closing. <laughs> oh, Nico's sharing it with everyone. Let's do it. What a rare treat in the corrections bureau. Who even sent this to you? Hmm. I wonder who indeed. <laughs> Nico! Let's just say it was a gift from my tomorrow. Oh. Oh, that's so cute! Oh! Oh, my heart! Oh, God. Yeah, I imagine Yukino's having kind of a hard time. Oh god, I, I could see her crying in the corner. Oh my word. My heart! Oh, that was great! Oh, it was so nice to see the rabbit squad coming together, finally feeling confident in themselves and their own abilities. The fox squad finally got a, a lesson in how the ends don't justify the means, and the sunk cost fallacy is not something that you should... <laughs> Like, don't think that you're in too deep. You can still get out. Like, just just don't blow things up. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't do this thing. Ah, <sighs> removing Kaya from power. This beautiful, good justice. Good justice, let's go. I'm still very interested if Kaya planted that letter. I suspect she did because I... I don't know that it makes the most sense to me for the general student council president to want the chief of defense to take over, especially since it was in Shale already. She definitely snuck that in, right? Like, for sure, for sure, for sure. Like, yeah, no, that's definitely planted. I, <laughs> there's no way, that's absolutely wild. She's just over here planning the long con, being like, oh, you were hiding this in Shale, when really she's the one who did it. Ugh. Ridiculous. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Oh, and actually... <laughs> So yeah, um, for those of you that aren't aware, after you complete the story, the title screen changes, which is super cool. Because I ran through this ahead of time because I wasn't sure if I'd have to skip through some battles, my screen changed. And I was like, what? Oh, oh geez, that changes the result of that. So yeah, um, it's great. It's like the PV 4.5 and it's absolutely fantastic. So yeah, it's good. It's a very, very good and I love it. <laughs> it's absolutely fantastic. Um, so yeah, it's good. Um, so yeah, that that wasn't uh, that was a surprise when it happened, but um, I've been uh, enjoying it for longer as a result. <laughs> so I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> oh my word! Okay, y'all, y'all have been so good. You've been waiting. We've we've gotten through this good story together. Yes. We still have another week before we're actually gonna play through the event. But um, I've got some polls that we need to make because yeah, uh, there's some good stuff. Yes, and night. I do know that I'm in that blue archive fanfic. Um, I actually got that from <laughs> the 
author of the fanfic sent me a message, a very kind message about it. It's so good. It is absolutely wonderful. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, I do have a Discord server. And if y'all go and check that out, um, the author of that fanfic posted that in the Discord, tagged me with it, and I, I cried. <laughs> I was absolutely blown away. I was included in a, a Blue Archive fanfic. It was really sweet. It was super, super good. So yeah, um, anyway, if you're interested, you should check it out. It's really adorable. Um, it's very wholesome. I loved it. <laughs> I have been immortalized in fanfic now. It's absolutely wonderful. I'm so happy you brought that up, Knight. That was a really good thing to shout out. Absolutely wonderful. If you haven't checked that out already, it's super, super cute. Oh God, absolutely fantastic. From what I remember, I think it's called Black and White, but let me go and double check really quick. I'm gonna go pull up the Discord server. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's go. Let me go pull up. Up, 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 up. I'm just pulling up the fanfic now. Yeah. Uh, this particular fanfic was just called an SRT Christmas. Um, <laughs> yes, you were just mentioned rice. <laughs> rice is here in the chat right now, everyone. Many kudos to rice. Kudos to all of you who write amazing fanfic. Um, there's a bunch of it that's on the Discord server. Teal can a bunch of other folks write some really good stuff there. Um, it's extremely good. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. You've got stuff from Destiny Drop. You've got stuff from so many people. So please, please go check it out. It's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. But yes, go and check it out, y'all. <laughs> oh my word. But yes, absolutely wonderful. The, that fanfic that I was featured in is called an SRT Christmas. It's extremely good and I love it. <laughs> y'all are wonderful. Y'all who write fan fiction, it's wonderful. And I love reading it. It makes me really happy. <laughs> Everyone, oh my god, so many of y'all are in chat too. Destiny Drop Rice. Y'all do great work. Y'all do great, great work. Many, many blessings to all of you. But yeah, um, I figured this is a great chance for us to um, actually pick up some of the SRT students because I kind of want them for the uh, total assault boss that's going to be coming up here. Um, I, I kind of want them for dealing with Greg. That's gonna be fun. We might do a Greg run next week, um, just to try and show you the mechanics of it. I don't know. I don't, I'm not looking forward to Greg, but it'll be all right. <laughs> I'm trying to pull both of them, if at all possible, but I think if I have to pick one, I probably will go with Saki because she's got more debuffs that um, I can take advantage of. I think she applies three debuffs at a time. And I think Miyako applies one debuff, so yeah. I'm hoping that I can get both of them, though, because I want them! I want them so bad! <sighs> so yeah. Yeah, no, and it's okay. There are some characters who have debuffs already. It's okay if you don't pull these characters. Um, if you have friends you can borrow stuff from, it'll be good. But yeah, it's gonna be... Ugh, it's gonna be rough. But yeah, we'll make some polls real quick. Um, we'll read some super chats, and then it'll be our last stream of the year. <sighs> the end of 2023, y'all. Let's do it. Let's let's go roll for some rabbits. <sighs> Arona about to ruin Yumi's career. <laughs> oh god. Okay, let's go. Next. Next. Oh. Oh my god, I have a bunch of tickets. Oh. Well, well, well. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Let's go. Woo. Let's go. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Woo. Uh, I liked how they called them buns. That was super adorable. Bun. <laughs> Like them bunny rabbits that was so cute. I loved that. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. We might do peon as well. Our beloved peon. The bun. <laughs> the bun buns. They're so adorable. Oh, let's go. Buns. Adorable. Let's go. Pion does crack hard. <laughs> Pion and Bun! 
Oh, well, let's go. Oh, can you imagine if I got Toki off of this? <laughs> I summoned the wrong rabbit. Oh God. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! 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 Let's go, let's I don't know what's happened. I I have been so unlucky. And then it feels like the last couple of times I've streamed, I have been insanely lucky. I guess I guess my luck has has held out for this. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Okay, okay, perfect! The faithful shall be rewarded. <laughs> Ticket number three. Oh, Grand Assault is going pretty okay. I think it's kind of fun that you have different attack types for things. I guess, excuse me, different defense types. Um, it's <laughs> my best team for this uh, Bina Grand Assault is actually the explosive team. It's super funny. Just like, there's a bunch of very good explosive characters and it's very funny watching them. <laughs> yeah, I know, that was just 20. That was just 20. Absolutely wild. But yeah, no, Grand Assault has been uh, interesting. I'm looking forward to covering that. I've got um, like an upcoming, let me actually make sure I'm on the right banner. I'm on this, right? Yes, okay. Um, so yeah, I need to cover a lot of the new updates that have happened because there were a lot, there were a lot of new updates. Um, but yeah, no, I've been finishing up Blue Archive or uh, my brain, my brain is just, it's failing me. I put all of this energy into reading these lines and now my brain is just kaput. <laughs> it's just tofu now. Tofu brain. Oh, it's just, it's it's all mush. Okay, uh, lore archive. Lore archive is what I meant to say. Um, <laughs> I'm working on lore archive. Um, so thank you all for your patience on that. But uh, yeah, I kind of forgot about the holidays. Um, and so my editing schedule didn't account for that. Um, I originally planned to release the lore archive the first week of January. It's probably going to be the second week. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to get it done, but uh, I I need to take time off. Um, it's pretty crazy this time of year. I, I do still have my full time job and it's a little nuts. So um, I, I'm making sure I am actually taking a break so that I'm not like super burnt out or anything. Um, but yeah, uh, lore archive will be happening for sure the second week of January. I'm sorry it's not the first week, but it'll still be in the new year. It'll be close enough to this um, story that it'll still be good. Plus, I actually really like that um, I had the chance to go through this while I was still putting it together because it helped me to like solidify some of my thoughts on stuff. So, yeah. Uh, thank you. Y'all are very sweet. Thank you. I, I appreciate your patience on this. Thank you so much. Y'all are wonderful. Oh my god. I'm damn lucky. I know that you all are like really excited for it and I'm excited to share it with you. So I always feel bad having you wait. But thank you. I appreciate it. A three star. Let's go. What? 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 Bruh! <laughs> what is happening, dude? What? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Have I summoned them? I I praised them so much, and I told them how proud of them I was. They they've they've just they've shown up. They're they're here. They're what? <laughs> so rigged indeed. New Year luck. Oh my god! <laughs> it's because I mentioned the, the Christmas SRT fanfic. It's all come full circle. This has just been a big SRT celebration. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! It's true. Bear, Bear has given me some of his gotcha luck. This is incredible. Oh! oh. <laughs> 
Oh my god! Well, I guess we're just gonna... I'm just gonna save my poles! Um... Oh my god! I... I might be able to get the swimsuit Trinity girls that I want. I thought I was just gonna have to rely on the hundred poles for that. I... I'm so happy! What a great new year! What, what a great way to end this! Oh my god! 50 for both? I don't think I've ever been this lucky before. Like, ever! What, what a great New Year's gift! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god! This was fantastic! I... I'm stunned. I... It's time to save up, I guess, now. Oh my god! Yeah, no, it was only... Oh my god, you're right! That was only 20 actual pyroxene poles! I used three tickets for that. The power of fanfic compels you. <laughs> yep, no, good head pats for Aru. Oh, she's so cute! I thought it would be really fun because we have a couple of Blue Archive streams that are like right around New Year's. I, I wanted to show you all some of my favorites and Aru is so good! Aru is one of my favorites! Look at how cute she looks! Oh, her outfit is so good. It's so wonderful, wonderfully good! Oh my god, y'all. Um, this was incredible. This was great. I loved this so much. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. Um, we've got a bunch of very kind super chats that I'm gonna go through because y'all are, are, are great and extremely kind. So let me really quick, let's go pull those up. And then it's the last, the last stream of the year. <sighs> okay. All right, y'all. Let's go through this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you all. Ooh. Okay. Thank you, Tofu. Gonna watch the VOD, have fun. Also, Blue Archive camp song. God, yeah, Um, they, oh, on the Japanese server, so it'll be like six or seven months until this actually hits us. Um, they released some camping versions of the Veritas students. Oh, I'm very excited for that. Maki looks so good. I know she's not in that first run, but I, I love her. <laughs> Campu, Campu is life. Thank you so much, Tofu. I'm really glad that you got some rest. It's really, really late in Asia for you folks, so that's good. I'm glad, I'm glad that you all are doing well. God, yes, Hade looks so good. Ooh, the Veritas camping girls are absolutely fantastic. I love it, I absolutely love it. Ooh. Oh no, that's true. Oh. They are so close to the next festival. <gasps> and that's probably going to have like a rate up for all of the characters. They'll probably have um, either like a rerun of like one of the hyper limited characters or they'll have a new hyper limited character. Because I think that the, um, if I remember correctly, I think in February or is it January that the festival happens? It's going to be coming up pretty quickly. Oh, Y'all have my condolences. You're on the front lines on the Japanese server. You don't get to see what's coming up next. You don't get to plan for stuff. It's just, oh, here it is. Here's this adorable student. And you're like, oh God. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, this is too good. Oh man. Oh my God. Shimmy. Thank you for the super chat. Y'all are crazy. This is 50 euros. What? <laughs> Thank you. Um, that's very kind of you. Casually reaches for the Kaiser PMC's weapon. Also, I'm glad I was finally able to catch another stream. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas. Yes, I hope you all had a great Christmas. Oh, whether um, wherever you are in the world, I hope um, that you had a wonderful weekend, that you had a very nice time, and that everyone has a wonderful New Year's coming up so soon here. Oh, it's going to be so good. I'm very, very excited for it. But dear God, thank you. What? Good God. <laughs> y'all are very sweet. Thank you for the super chat. I'm so glad that y'all got to come and hang out. This was so good. Oh. <gasps> Oh, and Gabriel, thank you for the super chat. Oh my God, you sent two of them. <laughs> so nice. Playable Fox Squad win next on. I, I do want to see a, a Nico and Fox Squad redemption arc. I would like for them to see that they can move forward, that they are um, they are serving their time for the uh, things that they did. And then when they are done, they shall come out on the other side. I saw some of y'all talking about like the Fox Squad and the Area Squad having like their own little redemption together. And I would love that. I would absolutely love that. It would be so good. 
absolutely fantastic. Oh, God. Oh, and if you're interested in the lore, if you just barely started, um, I actually would go suggest checking out my very first Abydos video. Um, the first, like, 16 minutes, I explain some stuff about the world. You don't have to watch the whole thing. It's like two and a half hours. But if you want to, you can. <laughs> but the first 16 minutes of my Abydos video, I explain a whole bunch about the lore of um, Kivotos and stuff that you need to know. So, yeah, I hope it's helpful. <laughs> Oh my word. And Gabriel, thank you again for the, uh, for another super chat. Good God. Miyako appreciation ahead. People like her with steadfast principles and virtues are just admirable. I appreciate this whole arc for being grounded in reality with the internal and emotional turmoil. God, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my word. I'm so, so glad that things turned out the way that they did. I think that it was really lovely to see how Miyako grew, not just like throughout this, but like the beginning of SRT as well. She's had like an entire arc of feeling confident in herself, sticking to her principles and just supporting people. I think it's absolutely fantastic. So yeah, it's good. It's good, it's good. <laughs> 15 minutes is nothing. I finished your 50, 50 minute video about gotcha. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, no, um, go check out the lore archives. I I have uh, many, many uh, people who've said they've enjoyed them. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoy the lore archives. They're extremely fun. <laughs> the time might um, flash by very quickly. <laughs> oh my God. What? Chimmy, thank you. Thank you for the gifted memberships. What the hell? Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you! <laughs> oh! Um, that's actually a really good segue because uh, System Philosophy sent in two super chats, and the first one is actually a reference to the member stream we had yesterday! <laughs> so, pursuers are like Mormons? Uh, maybe a little bit. <laughs> different flavor for sure um i might have gone on a big tangent about mormons during the member stream yesterday so go go listen to that <laughs> have fun uh i spent five hours yesterday um hanging out with uh y'all talking about my tier list rankings for a bunch of stuff and then um i might have gotten sidetracked also bear showed up for like two and a half hours <laughs> No, and no worries. If y'all missed that stream, don't worries. The, the VOD is great. You'll enjoy it. It will be very good. <laughs> very, very good. I'm glad y'all got some sleep. That makes me happy, honestly. A couple people stayed up the whole time and it was like 5.30 in the morning for them. And I feel super bad. I hope they got rest. So yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you all very much. Oh, and thank you, System Philosophy. Another super chat. I imagine a future story with the fox works well with Arius. Yes, this was what I had seen. I think this would be fantastic. Um, I'd seen this super chat come by and it made me think about it. I think that would be so wonderful. I don't know. I hope that we get some more story with the Arius girls. I think that would be wonderful. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> oh my word. <sighs> And, and, and that's it. You all were so kind. Oh my God. Good grief. What a great New Year's stream this was. Oh my word. Um, thank you all for an absolutely incredible year. This was really, really fun. I have had such a fun time with y'all in 2023, and I'm really looking forward to a lot more fun stuff in 2024. Thank you for um, hanging out and being so awesome for these streams. It has been wonderful, absolutely wonderful. I have loved it so much. So yeah, please take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful, wonderful new year. You all are wonderful. <laughs> Thank you all so much. And look forward to, um, I've got a new schedule that will be coming out shortly. I'll post waiting rooms for stuff so that you all can look forward to that. So yeah, everyone, have a happy, 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 happy new year. And thank you for making this year absolutely wonderful. Cheers to another great year. I will see you all next when it's 2024. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> absolutely wild. But anyway, you all have an absolutely fantastic rest of your days and happy new year to all of you.
I will see you all very, very soon. <laughs> Bye! Oh my god, even more gifted memberships? Oh my god! <laughs> thank you all, you are very kind! Ha, 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 ha. Thank, thank you! Oh god! <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone! Oh my god! Fare thee well. Fare thee well into the new year. Good god! You all are very kind! everyone happy new year <laughs> and take care of yourselves okay please take care of yourselves y'all are so kind thank you bye everyone i'll see you all in 2024 <laughs> bye